Hello and welcome to my Twitch and YouTube and whatever other social media channel that I have hooked up with today. So, you found my channel. That's freaking amazing, by the way. Congratulations. But you must have read the title on YouTube or Twitch or whichever social media you found. So, I've come to the conclusion that I had to make this video. I was on YouTube and I saw one about how to make easy money in Gloria Victus. So I checked it out. It came out in 2016. You know, it's not too far off, about two years ago, because today is officially the 25th of June, 2018. So keep that in mind when you're reviewing this video, because there could have been a previous patch that has been uploaded, changing all the recipes around. But not to deviate from what I was originally talking about, in the YouTube video that I saw that was labeled How to Make Easy Money in Gloria Victus, well, Cloaking Donkey, who was the uh, creator of it, he left out a couple interesting facts, which is why his video is now officially outdated. Most of the ingredients that he used to make a lot of money in the game don't exist. Over the last couple patches, over the last couple of years, they've made it easier to mine, to chop trees down, and so on and so forth. So you have so many different things that are out there. It is just like really crazy. But um, I'm here to show you how to actually craft, get started. This is day one for you, not day five, six, not day 30. This is day one. You're entering Glory of Victus for the first time, and if you've ever played Life is Futile, it's kind of like that, but it's better in my opinion. But anyways, let's dive in. Let's get started. And again, follow me if you can, like me, all that jazz from Twitter all the way down to Google+. All that information can be located down below, including if you love this game, you love how it feels, I'll leave a Steam little um, link down below for Steam, as well as information regarding um, all of my social media and all that kind of jazz. So you can ask me any questions. And I actually have my live feed up for Twitch right now, so you guys can ask questions as well. So this is on the Midlander side. So I'm not going to cover the other two factions. So I'm just putting that out there. This is the Midlander side. And this is where you're going to start out with on the Midlander side. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. So take it in. Pause the video if you need to. This is where you're going to start from the town. Now, it doesn't really matter what your preference is to being um, an archer, um, a swordsman, so on and so forth, whatever your, your hobby is, you're going to want to craft regardless. So anyways, let's dive right into this. Now that you know where you're on your map, day one, this is what you're going to do. You want money because you want the best armor. Let's be honest, you're just like me, I'm just like you. You want the best armor. So this is a little known fact. After you exit the castle, regardless of what armor you have on, you're going to have some money. Uh, you want to invest that money with this guy right here. Now... Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to click the uh, letter E button on your keyboard. Then you're going to have to scroll to your right and click, I want to buy a shovel. Now, obviously, you're not really going to buy a shovel. You're going to buy a lot of stuff all at once. But the first thing you're going to buy are tools. Now, you don't have to buy that right away, but that would be right here, the tools. You'll need it for crafting, so you definitely need it. So don't ignore it. You're going to need it. The other things you're actually going to need are the City Novice Pixaxe, the City Novice Shovel, and also a City Novice Axe. The reason why you want these three, this I'll actually show you in a few minutes what you're going to use it for. And it'll come in handy if you have nothing better to do in the game and you have to go to the bathroom or you're just trying to step away for 10 or 30 minutes from the computer. Uh, the City Novice Axe, or I should say the City Novice Picks Axe, this is what you're going to use to mine with. Getting charcoal, or I should say coal in general, pyrite, all the minerals you're going to need. Because you don't want to use your sword because it's going to dull the blade. You're not going to use... Your novice axe, although you could technically, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, as for your city novice axe, that's going to be used for the sole purpose of just chopping logs. I know. Take it in. It looks pretty, right? It's just for logs. Don't use it for anything else. And you want to master it. Now, while you're buying these, you want to save up and also buy the recipes for them. And I'll scroll down so you can see what they're called. Now, they may change in the next patch. I don't know. They've been changing a lot of recipes within the last couple of years. So, again, uh, you want to buy the Apprentice Shovel. You want to buy the Apprentice Picks Axe and the Apprentice Axe. Over time, you'll find the Journeyman. And the last phase of the recipes you're going to need for crafting them um, would be Master. It'll say Master on them. That's how you know. And I'll show you. I'll show you my axe down here that's on me. Uh, let's see. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. See how it says Master Axe plus one? That's what you want. That is the ideal axe. Now, obviously, you probably see one that'll say plus three. What, whatever the extra percentage or plus doesn't matter. The master one's definitely what you want. Now, not to get too off topic here. Let's let's exit out of this real quick. 
Okay. Now that you know what to buy, the basic essentials, your axe, your shovel, and your pickaxe. So I'm going to show you how you use your shovel. Just get that out of the way real quick. You're going to go down to the pit right here. See these guys digging? Not really. You don't see any shovels, but they do. Uh, you're going to get your shovel out, but you're going to press your I button. If you don't know how to uh, install it on your character, like put your shovel, you're going to put your cursor underneath something. You're going to right click your mouse, and then you're going to click. Um, you click. Um, you're going to click on. Let me see if I can get an example. Oh, come on. There we go. Like say I want to wear. I want to put this on. Now you can drop it and drag it, or you can do this. Right click and hit equip, and it'll clip right on it. And then you can also drag this particular weapon and any little slot below that you want to, you know, slot it on. I think I said that right. I'm a bit nervous if you haven't noticed. But anyways, that's how you're going to equip your items, you know, play them down here. Now, it's not like World of Warcraft. Your skills are not going to go down here because you don't have any passive skills. That's in a separate tree. You click here and you can see your little tree or your abilities. Which, funny story, you cannot drag and put down here. These are just built-in passive skills you have. So it takes a while to get used to that, but getting off topic there. Now that you know how to equip everything that you're going to need, you're going to exit out of this. And don't worry about these. Right now, they are not accessible in the game. So earrings, all that kind of stuff, you can't use because, well, you can't drop and drag anything or create them at the present time. But eventually, you should be able to. Now, anyways, now that you know what the shovel is, I'm going to show you what it can do. So you have it out. Just pick a spot. You're going to see the letter E. Make sure you pay attention because it matches what's on your keyboard. You cannot dig or chop or anything without that beautiful letter E, which is going to annoy the hell out of you like it does me. So press that beautiful, beautiful E button. And this is the boring part. You're going to wait. So go to the bathroom, read a book, pick your nose. No, don't do that. Did you, did you pick your nose? You, you picked a winner, didn't you? You named it after me? Oh, man, that's sweet. Thank you so much, man. That's beautiful. Anyways, not to get off topic. Now you're going to hit your alt button. The ALT button on your keyboard, you usually have two of them. That's the only way you can move your mouse around. I know it's weird because you're going to, first of all, when your character is first like this, well, you're like when it starts running or something, you'll notice you, you're not going to be able to use your mouse. So you're going to have to use the alt button, press it down, hold it down. Don't just tap the button, hold it. And that's how you move your mouse around. Kind of crazy. So anyways, this bar right here, I'm going to use my cursor to show you. It's going to go slow. It's really slow. It's because you're a novice. The more you level up your skill set for the shovel, like the more you do it, you're going to get skill skill points and all this kind of junk. Like not skill points, just uh, experience points. I'll show you. Right here on this, this little, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, icon. There you go. Uh, it'll show you how much experience you're going to get from picking it up. Now, here's the funny thing. You're not doing anything whatsoever. Your character's not doing anything whatsoever. Just shoveling, right? Well, first of all, you're getting experience. You're going to get 50 XP just for shoveling. It's crazy. And if you click your I button, which is your inventory, it's going to pop in your first uh, container right here. It'll just drop down. It's like, you didn't have to do anything. Isn't that crazy? So you can actually take time away if you have to do something and you're in a safe zone. Uh, there is no player versus player in this little zone here, so you're safe. So you can walk away. Now, after you're done like doing what you're doing and you come back, uh, all you have to do is click out of that. And you don't even have to have the window open. Just move your character and it'll stop. As you can see, it says action interrupted. And you're going to hit your F button to get rid of your shovel to go back inside. Remember, your F button, it pulls your weapon or whatever you're using out and puts it back in. Your I button is for the inventory. Now that we got the bases covered, don't touch the R button. <laughs> that is the basic thing people tend to do because it's an auto run. If you don't want to use your hands, you just want to auto run and use your mouse to scroll, you can do that. Just remember, R is for auto run. E is for picking up stuff if you see the letter E. F is for putting stuff out and basically putting it back in in your, um, your little bags. Anyways, you're going to go back to E. I'm going to show you how to sell stuff. Remember, hit the E. Make sure you highlight the first one says, I want to buy, even though you're not really buying a shovel. And you're going to highlight this. You're going to right click and you're going to hit sell. Simple. Now, if you hit, if you hold down the shift button, but you put the left clicker, you sell it automatically. But the reason why you want to do that is if it's a stack of three or more like here, I'm going to put my shift button down. I'm going to hit the left clicker. There you go. You want to drag this all the way down. Done deal, right? Let go of the shift. Hit OK. And there you go. Now, here's the uh, little catch. There is no drop box here, so you can't spam this little box full of stuff you want to sell. You have to hit the shift button. You have to hold down the left clicker. Annoying, I know. I know. It, it happens. 
So now that you know the basics and you know what to get, I should also point out you're going to be using shovels, you're going to be using axes, even your normal weapons. Get familiar with this button. Find a vendor, click this, and hit all. It'll repair all of your stuff. Now this is something they're not going to tell you in the game, so keep this in mind. All those resource weapons, regular weapons, they lose their durability and you cannot repair it. You can repair the weapon to keep using, but eventually your durability is going to be gone. And by durability, I will show you. Give me a second. Oops. Oops. And you know what? Let's just go to here. All right. Now, you see the pickaxe. You're going to look all the way down. Directional attacks, armor penetration, stamina cost, gathering resource. See that little thing called durability? If you look to the right, it's in green. That's because it's, well, fully healed and blah, blah, blah. The more you use a weapon, your, du your durability is going to take a big hit. You should point this out. That means your damage, the weapon type damage, is going to go down permanently. So you want to keep at least one or two extra axes with you, all that kind of stuff, just to be safe. Because if you're out there for three hours, this axe, this pickaxe, is going to go very, very slow. And I kid you not. Even if you have the best recipe to make the best, the best axe, when it loses its durability, it's a piece of crap. And then you're going to say, wow, I've got this sword on me. I'm going to use this sword. Don't use your sword to do your mining, to do your chopping of your trees, because when you dull the blade, you can't fix the durability of that. So only use your resource equipment that you buy, unless you are really desperate for that extra mineral you need to complete your crafting project, okay? So keep that in mind. So now that we got all of that out of the way, and you, know, you have all that knowledge seep down into your mind, I'm gonna show you the best places, the best places to mine and chop wood. So take notes. Now, there's a website I will put down in the links below after this video is done. So you can go straight to a website that actually tells you where all the nodes are. These nodes are the best locations on a 24 hour basis where you can get the best minerals, best wood, all that. But I'm also gonna show you locations which are permanently gonna be good, that always has the best spread of everything. So don't go wandering around like this with your ax in hand, and you're gonna do it, everyone does it, on occasion, let's see, oh yeah, that message always pops up. You're gonna hit your F button once, there you go. You don't wanna do this. <laughs> you don't wanna like say, wow, I'm gonna find, well that's nothing really. I don't know what's a good example. Now you know, here, let's put this away. You don't really need a weapon or anything for this, but say you're gonna do this. Unless you actually are gonna be making something, or don't do, you don't wanna do this constantly. It, it's annoying because you never know where the next location is you're gonna find something. You want to have a preset location where all of your stuff is under one belt. A lot of people, I'll show you the map, and I'm one of them. When I first started, you're going to say, hey, I'm going to go here and find tons of metal because it's rocky area. No, it's not because here's the thing. You're so small on your level. There are going to be level 20s. There's going to be cheap tins everywhere. Every single time you're going to mine something, you're going to be attacked, and then they're going to aggro one or two more people, and you're going to die. So I recommend joining a guild, Legion or Ormata. I always pronounce their name wrong, of course. Two of the best, 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 best guilds in uh, the Midlander side. So definitely sign up for them. They're great guys and women. They're great people all together. And they should be able to help party with you. But if you're soloing like me, take this advice. Don't randomly go in here trying to mine your shit. It's not worth it because you're going to die over and over again. And here's, a, here's a bad fact. Every single time you die, your equipment loses durability. You don't really lose any money, thank God. You don't lose any of your experience. So you don't go down a level. So those are good things. But you still lose your weapon durability. And if you were doing a player versus player battle, here's a bad side note. They're going to go after you and take your, your weapon from you. They could take your armor from you. Yeah, they have 30 seconds to literally pick the shit out of your body. That's a player versus player atmosphere. So be careful. Don't carry good stuff on you if you're going to do this. Also, this is a fun fact that not many people know. If you're going to be mining, if you're going to be, you know, chopping wood, all that kind of stuff, don't wear heavy armor. Now, I'm wearing heavy armor because I, well, I'm going to go to battle soon after I'm done with this video. So I want to keep it on me. But the reason why you don't want to keep heavy armor on you is it drains your stamina. It drains you if you need to run. It makes picking, um, well, cutting trees down pretty hard. It makes mining even slower. So I'm just putting that out there. If you want to speed stuff up a little more, have that edge, take your armor off. Now, I don't mean you don't have to go commando, okay? Uh, you want some life protection because you, you may actually get attacked while you're mining, and 
well, you want to have some protection on you. So get the best light armor you can because you'll find out you'll be able to swim a lot longer and you'll be able to chop wood a lot longer. Well, a lot faster, I should say. Okay, so let's put this away. Now I'm going to show you a location on here where you can actually locate, go from point A to point B on the map without having to walk. However, I'm going to show you the cheap way to do it in case you can't afford it right off the bat. So you're going to find this guy right here. He's the logis logistin, whatever you want to call him. I call him the logic guy. You're going to hit the M button first before you click on him, and you want to guess where you're going to go. Now I hit the map button. You don't always have to hit the M button. Now everything that's in red is under your faction's control, so keep that in mind. And you can pretty much go anywhere you want, but it's going to cost you. So this is why I'm telling you right now, if you're going to go mine something, don't bother using a transportation unless some guild give you like a thousand, well, not like one piece of gold would actually work for the rest of the month almost for you, but don't do that. You're going to experience this game many times over. Experience the first time all the way through, because then you can pick out wood, mine stuff as you go to see what works for you, if you really want to have that experience. Um, but if you actually have the money, go ahead, travel. It will save you time, trust me. However, here's a little thing that no one told me until a few days ago. If you hit your escape button, see this? I hit the escape button. They have something called unstuck to the capital city and then unstuck to the closest town. So if per se, you were all the way over here in no man's land and you were getting your butt kicked or you're trying to get rare material somewhere and you didn't want to go all the way here. Fun fact, you hit your escape button and you hit the capital or the closest place, you know, but it does take 30 seconds. So if you're under attack and you think, hey, I can pause and click it yet. Yeah, no, you're dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not how this works. But um, now you have an interesting shortcut that you probably didn't know before. But let's move past that. Now that you know the interesting, cheap, well, the expensive way to travel and the little tips that I've just given you on that, let's plot an interesting location. But before that, I'm going to show you where you buy your recipes. Now, I know you see a lot of these people around here. Most of them are just NPCs, they don't do anything. I'm going to click my Alt button to show you. This little map right here up in the corner. It's actually not fully developed yet. I actually talked with one of the developers. They're taking my advice on some of the things, I guess. Uh, I wanted them to put more names on everything. So if you wanted to travel, it's a picture of the horse. Now the sword and the shield is literally represents all of the stalls, which is crazy. Like there's no specific image for where do I get my, um, my recipe to make uh, some type of fabric material. The tailor would do that. Uh, the armory is all the way over here, which is crazy. There are all these stalls. So you got to understand. So get a good look, I'll pan really slow so you see where you're going to start out at. Okay, now you've seen it, take it in. So we're going to take the M button and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it on a different map. So we don't want to go up here. We want to see where the, where the, um, the armor smith's at and where your minerals, every place you need right here for crafting on a different scale is going to be in the back alleys around here, not here. Here's where the auction house is at and the smaller vend vendors here where you can repair stuff and sell stuff. That's all nice and good, but if you want to buy recipes without having help or you know, you just need to make certain things, you need to go all the way here. And this is what we're going to use at the end of the video so I can show you how to craft. So take notes. Yeah, you're just going to keep going straight. Hey, Papa, nice to see you back, man. Now, if you go to your right, these are where the tailors are at. I'm going to take the time to go all the way through so you can see them. And for anyone that's just joining in right now in any of the particular streams, uh, this is going to be on YouTube. I'll make sure to provide links on my Twitter page so you guys can see it when it's finished with all the links underneath it. Like I said, these are your leather workers. These are your tailor. There you go. See, they're all the way back here. No one's going to tell you that, but you see all those little hammers up there. It's weird because when you go to the map button, none of that stuff exists. Isn't that weird? So keep that in mind. If you don't see it on the big map, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not there. Now, when you're crafting and doing stuff for tailoring, you actually have to use these. Now, you can hit the C button on your keyboard. It'll tell you what you can make. The green says what you can make. The red says what you have a recipe for, just like the green. Here is something that they probably won't tell you. <laughs> Everything that's in gray is what you cannot make yet. Yeah. Now, I could be wrong. I could be right. From what I've been told and what I've actually tried, you can't. Yeah, you have to have your recipes. So see this grayed out thing? That's a recipe. Just because you have this material 
doesn't mean you can make it without the recipe. It's so weird, but that's how it works. So you have to purchase or pick up one of these recipes or be, or be given it by chance, okay? But you do have to um, find one of these particular objects in any of these particular locations in the back. There's different kinds for different different things. So again, you're going to hit your C button. So you can tell there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different type of um, different type of devices like this you're going to have to go to to craft. So keep that in mind. And you're also going to have to find these particular characters, these NPCs over here. And we're, we're going to click E so you can read the menu, show goods, and scroll down. Just ignore this crap. Scroll down. All the way down, right here. Now, I want to tell you an honest thing that no one tells you. You do not have to buy all these little damn scrolls. You can buy the full bulk version if you want. Here, I'll show you the bigger one. See when it says servants of whatever? You have all these thick packets of things you can buy all at once. Now, it costs more for a reason. It saves you trouble in buying the smaller things. So if you want to save and buy them all in bulk, be my guest. If you want to be cheap and buy them one by one by one, or maybe you just want to pick and choose, now you can. But also remember, at every single one of these particular vendors, you can repair everything. Everything. Now, there is another type of thing you can do. It's, um, I keep forgetting what the hell that is, to be honest. I never use that. I don't think, now you can't even. Oh, you can. Whoops, I don't want to use it, though. I don't want to use it. But um, if you try to repair something that needs, that has low durability, just remember, there's a good chance that you may break your weapon if you try to repair it. They have a certain... Um, I forget what it is, but when you use it on your weapons, it says it says in the description it has a 50% chance of fixing something and 50% chance of breaking it. Depends how screwed you want to be. If you just need like one piece of rock to be mined, then go for it. But if you've got like 50 or 60, just dismantle whatever you you have. Basically, you're going to hit inventory, which is the I button. You're going to put your cursor over top of the weapon. So we're going to go to my weapons. I just bought a lot of stuff a few minutes ago. I just bought that too. Uh, say, uh, let's get a cracker one there. You're going to right click and you're going to hit disassemble, dis disassemble this item. What it does is you get experience points for disassembling it for that particular um, item. So it would be under probably, I want to say the, arm the armory probably. Yeah, the armsmith. So you get uh, experience points for that. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the description down below on YouTube or wherever you're watching this, but that's what I've been told and that's what I've actually done. So now that we got all of that out of the way, we're going to map out where you're going to go. So say you want to make something, anything. It all starts for armory, for armor, you name it, wood. Wood and charcoal. I, I shit you not. And here's the funny thing. You have to make wood ballots out of the charcoal and the wood. It's, it's crazy. And then you have to get lemonite, but I'm getting way too ahead of myself. I'm going to show you where to get all of this fun stuff. Now, it's a bit of a walk, so I hope you're in going to be in for a treat. I'm showing you the poor man's way to mine. So here's the map. Looks pretty nice when we're actually winning. Um, that's not always the case. So we're going to go all the way to here. So map this on your location if you are a midlander, okay? So I'm going to zoom in here. You want this location right here. It's called the Red Rock Lumber Mill. I'm going to zoom right in here, right in. The reason why you want this location is because it has the best lumber Ever. What you're going to do is you're going to start here. You're going to walk in. You'll see one here, one there, and like one here. Then right back here in this little trove, seven, eight different trees. And if you go a little more back up here, like out through the breeze, you'll see four or five more. All you have to do is do a roundabout every, like, every time you're done, and they respawn within minutes. So you don't have to go all over the place looking for rare wood. Okay, so don't listen to people that say, hey, you've got to go all the way out there and get all this random stuff. Or, hey, why don't you just buy it on the auction house? The reason why you're not going to buy anything on the auction house is because the game's not heavily populated with enough people yet. It's still in its alpha stage. So keep that in mind. And again, it is June 25th, 2018. I have not seen a new patch out yet, so these recipes are all still valid. This information is still valid, of course, but check with me if it's later on, of course. And I'll get back to anyone that has questions. But as of right now, this is the best place for Midlanders to get wood. Now, you'll see other other particular locations that's going to say Lumberyard. And you're going to think, oh, well, that has lumber too. Here, I'll show you. No, here, no I'll, I'll show you. Right here. This is a great place to get lumber. Yes. Here's the downside. Every single day, this area is taken over by the enemy. So if you have it here one day, the next day it might not be here. 
Now the same thing could be said all the way up here, but unlikely because we have some great guilds that always monitor these areas. So it's mostly always in our hands. So it's guaranteed to be for us mostly. But don't take me for my word. Look, look for it yourself and you'll, you'll notice. But don't go here unless you have to or you're completing the quest for that area. So you actually do have to upgrade this place, the lumber yard and the farm over here. That's part of like some mission at the start. So basically you're just going to go around and the respawn time is a little lackey. So you're going to have to a good amount of weight. So don't do it. If you want lumber, yeah, kids, you want to go all the way up here? This is the best place you want to be at. Okay. So let's cut to the chase. Let's get there. Now again, this is the poor man's way to get from point A to point B. I already showed you how the rich are going to do it. They're going to go to the guy in the main place here, in the capital. His, his name is the logistics guy, whatever you want to call him. I call him L. And he's in the capital right here. And you can find him on the map. He's right here. Here's the auction house. He's right there, outside the auction house, right there. Can't miss him. He's like the white pony on the map. But now that we've got all that out of the way, we're going to map this out. And we're going to make sure you have your recipes and everything. Now, when I walk, I want to make sure I'm the closest to the shore because if you're wearing heavy armor, you're going to drown. I'm serious. You're going to drown. So when you're doing this, make sure you have light armor on. You'll, you know, you'll notice your stamina is a lot better. You're able to chop stuff more. So keep that in mind. Okay. So let's just get to it. I'm going to plot that even though I want to be here. And since I'm not in any trouble here, there's no, no one's invading us. I don't really have to care. So I see it on the map and on here, it's going to be the red little flag. Keep that in mind that this disappears every so often because of glitches in the game. So you're going to have to always hit the map button, the M button and always reposition it. And it's just a right click. It's that simple. Right click once to remove it, right click again to put it back on. Now here's a fun fact. If you hit the R button, like I told you, it's basically an auto run. So you don't even have to touch the keys or anything. And if you hold shift down once, just once it taps into your stamina and it makes you run fast. Now, you can try holding your shift button down after it's out of um, stamina, but you're not going to run. But also keep in mind, you don't want to overuse your stamina too much because if you're trying to attack someone and you have no stamina, like that yellow bar is all gone, and I'll show you what I mean. If this is all gone and you try to attack someone, your what I call your special moves or your quick attack speed is gone and they can stun you pretty bad. So keep that in mind. So anyways, we're going to keep going. If you guys have questions in the chat, you let me know. I'm going to keep going the poor man's way to get the job done. And wow, we're already entering 27 minutes. Wow. Like I said, this is going to be a long video. I want to make sure we're not doing a 10 minute cheap rip of this is okay. This I want to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. So there's no anything that's you know out of the ordinary. And hopefully this is recording on YouTube. So you'll have that reference. If not, I'll always make a second one. So anyways. Now you know which way I'm going. And yet, believe it or not, you can actually put your map open while you're on auto run. But this is what I'm talking about. Right here, watch the stamina bar, which is right here. Watch it. Now you can put auto run and it'll swim. So you're good. But see how it drains pretty quick? If I had to go from here across all the way there, I'd probably die. So here's what I'm talking about. Here's one of those amazing, amazing minerals you're going to love over time. Lemonite. So you're going to get your pickaxe out, you're going to hit that beautiful E button, and then you're going to go to sleep. No, literally, you can, you can go to sleep. I'll, I'll wake you up, half past never. Uh-huh. No, no, no. It's not up yet. And, and think about this. This is an axe that I've actually, a pickaxe that I've actually upgraded and I've actually worked with. So you're going to start out with something a lot slower. So keep that in mind. As you can see, you do get experience right here and up here. See, 50 experience points, but it goes to crafting. Remember that, but you do it enough times. You get a something called, here, I'll show you, you get this. Let me hit the alt button, the gearbox. You're going to go to achievements and you're going to go to art. No, I'm um, crafting. So when you're crafting, chopping trees, all that stuff, you get points and then you get to open up a chest and it gives you a lot of money and experience points. That's another way of, you know, leveling up nice little, uh, incentive there to craft and cut stuff down. Just saying. Ooh, beautiful trees. Now I'm going to show you a master's axe. Since you're not going to be starting most likely with not a master's axe, but with a novice, it's going to take longer. So get used to it being slow for the first 24 hours or so. So let's pop that beautiful axe out. Let's hit that E button. Watch how fast. Did I tell you how fast it was? Before it used to take forever. Now remember to hit that F button and then we're going to hit that, that R button. 
and make sure you line yourself up with your red marker so you know where you're going. Again, this is the poor man's way to go from point A to point B. And do I want to go this way? No. I don't want to do this. I'll take the roundabout to play it safe, and we'll speed it up. So again, guys, in the chat, if you have any questions, let me know, any concerns. If I'm doing something too fast, talking too fast, you have some question that I've probably passed up, let me know. But like I said, when you're doing this type of, of um, resource, resource gathering and crafting, you want to make sure you have the right gear on. If you're crafting, there's really no gear you have to have on. It's just the right recipes. You have to have the right recipes to unlock what you're trying to make. Without those recipes, you've now mined and chopped all these trees for nothing. And you can't always buy everything on the auction house. And you can't always ask people for those recipes because it's not a big community. It literally is not. Those guilds, the guilds you join are the only big communities you will have at your fingertips. So keep that in mind. Let's see how far we are. Oh, we're almost there. Also, get used to putting your, your keyboard on autopilot. Where I call, I call it autopilot. You just press the R button. Keep your finger ready on the shift key. Just tap it down once to run the hell away from stuff. Because if you get stuck and a wolf is following you, you're dead. I'm sorry, but the wolves, if they're in a pack of three, they run really fast, faster than you, and they just chop at your health. You're not going to be able to get a, a sword off on nothing. You're not going to get a sword out. You're, you're gone. They'll just peck at you, and you're gone. So try to avoid the mobs as much as possible at a low level. But if you're in a group, a party, it doesn't really matter. But this is something you have to understand. These characters can see you from a long distance away for some reason. So if you get close to these guys, let me see if I can find someone. I, yeah, watch. Watch how close. And they'll see you. And when one sees you, it's okay. But if you get too close, let me see. Is this it? Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Right here? Oh, maybe it's because I'm too high level. Oh, I guess not. Oh, yeah. Ah, see? Distance. That guy, he doesn't have a face, but we don't really care. Now, they're going to run after you. Just remember. <laughs> they, it takes a while for them to give up, but I recommend putting your, your character in autopilot and pressing the shift when you think they're going to catch up to you to give you that extra boost. I just do it right now since I'm already that fast and I have enough stamina. So keep that in mind. Stay away from mobs like that. If you think you can peel them off, use your bow, but don't rely on your bow to do your work for you because unless you're a ranger, you're screwed. So that's just a little food, little advice. Now, I want to point this out. If you're going to swim and you just use your stamina, you're pretty dumb, you're going to die in the water. So you want to make sure you have a full bar of stamina. What, what happens is when you run out of stamina when you're swimming, it taps into your health and then you die. Like you can't stop moving. You can't go underwater. It's crazy. Also, keep your eye on, I call it your stomach. Make sure you're eating proper food. And by food, I will show you back at the stall because once it falls all the way to nothing, you start losing stamina points and all these kind of stuff and your character gets really slow. So Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And you can't just like stop and let, let your stomach fill. You actually have to eat real food in the game or else, well, you're not going to die, but your character loses all the fun stuff that makes you special. Okay, so I'm still slightly weak. So if you hit the V button, hold it down, it'll take it off, and you hit the Z button. I found that actually speeds up your health process in both your stamina. Well, you can't really see it in your stamina and your health. See, so when you get up, it's already full. But you'll, you'll notice, watch this. Now, it's going to get kind of weird first. Now, you can put it on R, and it'll auto-run for you in the water. Now, watch. Now, this is because I have heavy, heavy armor on. And you're going to notice it is a little glitchy, but that happens from time to time. Now, we're going to go back on the map, and we're going to zoom back in. And we want to go all the way up here, so now you actually know where we're at. Now, since I'm high enough level, these guys aren't really going to bother me too much. But I I'm not going to go close enough to check, obviously. Again, this is on auto-run. I'm not touching any keys. Just relax. And keep your finger prepped on the shift key in case you have to run. If you really want to kill these birds for its, it, all it ever drops is its own meat. So it's fur, I guess. So unless you're a tailor and you can make something out of that particular bird, leave them alone unless the level is worth it. Some of these animals, their levels are really remotely high and you can kill them easy. And then some of them are not. <laughs> so pick and choose wisely because it's different in every region and every patch changes stuff. So yeah. Oh, that was lightning, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to speed this up because I want to get to where I'm going. Keep your eye on this map as well. You want to make sure you're not running into these areas because these hearths, these areas usually have bandits there and they are packs of three and four of them. You're never going to be able to take them all by yourself at a low level. So don't try. Don't be the hero. Don't be that guy or girl that, you know, 
says, I, oh shit, I can take it. Oh no, see, watch, this is the wolf. Watch how much he's going to chase me. I'm out of stamina. He's going to peck at me any second now. If I'm lucky, he's going to ignore me. Okay, he ignored me, thank God. All right, so, got to be mindful of your surroundings. If that would have been more than one wolf, they would have both been chasing me. Bad experience. I had white wolves in the middle of the forest, and I kept running like a three or four different packs of them. And before I knew it, I couldn't use my stamina because they were eating at you. When they start hitting you, your stamina gets frozen. So weird. But okay, so we're actually going to go down here. We're almost there, don't worry. Once you see this heaven of wood, <laughs> you'll, you'll thank me. It took me forever to find this place. No one told me about this. I actually was defending it. And uh, yeah, it paid off. Now, while we're going there, I'm going to zoom in on the, how close we're, okay, I have enough to tell you. Each of these areas, these red areas, are your villages. You know, they're not just for lumber and mining, of course. They have other purposes. You know, strates, I can't say because my mouth is dry. It's a strategic location as well because it can root you to your other location. So if you die, you go to one of those local towns. If those towns are taken over, you don't get to go there. You go to a further away town, so keep that in mind. But while you're also um, in these towns, you can upgrade them so the workbenches give you better results and better stuff. Or you can have more guards, that kind of stuff. So I'm going at the map. So this village, all these buildings have a purpose. Like you can actually use the armory, the lumber yard. All the, the, now they don't have everything, obviously, because they're just small villages. But you can upgrade them so they're better. And so it's harder for the enemy to take them over. But I'm getting a little off track. I don't really care because I really love this game. But I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about just before we get any further. So if you want to upgrade these villages, fun fact, you're going to approach this interesting little bench. Now all you have to do is look for the flag. Right here, because if you're playing capture the flag, you're going to be going after the enemy's one that's exactly like this. Now, if you were attacking someone, you'd pull out your weapon. and Here, pull out your weapon. F button, there you go. No, no, you don't want the archer. You want this baby. The long axes are the one to do the best damage. You're going to hit the e you're going to hit your uh, left clicker, and you're going to you know, align it, and there you go. Because you're not going to be able to open it if it's not yours. But that's beside the point. Put the guy back away. Now, this is our area. All I have to do is click here. Click the E button. And you got it. This is the hard part. You have to make sure not to move your mouse too much or else you miss it. There you go. And so you can actually move this around to get a better view. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to either buy points, which you're using in currency, not real cash. It's just like your normal gold you'd make in the game. junk. You buy it here and then you, um, well, you add them. It's plain and simple. You get to add them as many as you want. And by doing that, you can open these guys up. Like, uh, okay, yeah, I'll do that. See, now it says I only have eight. Okay, well, I want to do this one too. Now what that does is it opens these up so now you can repair them. So let me exit out of this. Now remember before, this wasn't here. You approach it. You hit the E button. And now you have to get all of these. As long as you have all of these, you can hit provide resource. It'll give you a message. And then if you had all of these, you can upgrade the building and it'll look different afterwards. It's kind of cool. And your building becomes stronger and harder for people to get inside. Kind of cool. But it also has a second purpose. All of the things that are inside these buildings, you can use, like all the crafting type things you can use, you have access to, and you get perk points, like, uh, like a plus one, plus two, plus three, on its development to make it faster. But now that I've gotten that out of the way, whew, we're going to hit the mighty dandy number three, because that's the number where my axe is at. We're going to hit the F button, and let's get to chopping. It's that simple. Hit the E button, sit back and relax. Now, some of these trees are really thick, but I'm going to show you exactly. Now, you're going to hit the F button, and you're going to run. And again, you want to make sure you have light armor. I'm wearing heavy because I'm going to be going to battle soon. Now, there is a cool thing. There is one lemonite around here, so you can actually mine one. The reason why lemonite's really important is a lot of armor is made with it from the start. You'll notice that at first for the starter stuff, but later on, you won't need as much. You want to hit the E button. Now, again, it's going to take forever. Keep your eye on what the durability is on this weapon. So again, you're going to hit the I button, put your cursor over top. If you notice the durability is really crappy, you'll notice the weapon type damage falls below a really low number. If it gets below 40 on this particular axe, dismantle it and get another one. As you can see, I've got other, I've got other, yeah, pickaxes right there. I'm no fool, but uh, my master axe, I never have to get a backup for because, well, I never really needed to. Now I'll switch it back and I'll show you what these resources look like in my inventory. 
like I said, you can literally keep going around and around. No other area is this amazing in the game. So that's helpful. Right on, right on. So this is actually pretty cool in my opinion. And by the way, I spent three and a half to four hours here and I loved it. I listened to my favorite music while I was streaming and it passed the time. Now, obviously I had to do this myself. I don't have a bot that magically does shit for me because that would be illegal and such and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, keep in mind, you want to make sure you have at least one or two extra axes on you or something in case the blade dulls and it takes forever. Let me see here. I'll sh let me see if I have, no, that's right. I only have a, um, my pickaxes are the only ones I have doubles of. I have one shitty pickaxe. I'll show you what a shitty pickaxe looks like. Pickaxe. Uh, one more. There you go. Let's see. Nope, that's 60. No, oh, that's 52. Yeah, hey, that's, well, what about this one? No, that's 53. All right, I guess I don't have a shitty pickaxe. I take good care of my stuff, but you get it. Now, remember, this is just cutting the, the wood down. And look how much we keep running into. We keep, it's ample amount of wood and you never run out of it. And it respawns within a minute or less. And all you have to do is keep going. Look at that, more wood. It's hiding behind here. Now, I'd recommend if you want to make wood bellets or anything in particular, you want 460 logs. I know it sounds like a big, big number, but every single time you cut a tree down, you get two or three pieces of log. So 460 really isn't that that bad. Now for me, I usually go all the way out here. There's a couple more hidden logs up here. If you think those uh, logs back there are not responding fast enough, but due to the last patch they came out with, they no longer have logs out here. So that actually just recently changed. Yeah, all this field used to have like three or four logs, um, some mineral over there. So let's speed this up let's put on auto run and let's press the F button get rid of that and let's hit the shift button so that's what we call a waste of time of course but usually you can find logs back here I don't know if they're gonna bring them back or not oh well so let's break this down now that you know where all the they're at we're going to chop some more trees one more time around because I don't want to keep going around and around and around because I think you guys get the gifs of how amazing this place is it's really nice and no one bothers you that's what's that's also nice about it. no one bothers you See, really nice. And you're going to go here. There should be one more around here unless I cut it already. Yeah, I cut it already. Now, basically, I'm going to pack this up and then I'm going to walk very slowly, kind of. I'm not even going to hit the shift button. I'm just going to do my roundabout. This is all I do. I call it my roundabout. It's Dire Shades Roundabout. And remember, we just cut all those trees over there. Now, they shouldn't be back just yet, but give them a couple seconds. There, see? Didn't we just chop them down? Didn't we just get rid of that tree? I think we did. And if I didn't, just lie and say you did. Good. I'm glad we're at an agreement. Now, see, all you have to do is basically wait a minute or so, and they're back. See? This saves you hours worth of looking for each one of these logs. Now, for the record, all of these logs are different. They're not all the same. And what's interesting, when you want to make wood ballots or you're trying to craft, you don't have to have one Pacific styled wood. They can all be the same wood you can shift around and use. And I'll show you that later on when we're crafting. And I'm going to show you how I actually craft. I call it backwards crafting where I find out what the finished product is and I find out what the minerals go into each set of the process and then I start collecting those materials. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but it's the back way of thinking. See, look, the tree's already back. Now, for the record, the trees don't respond anywhere else kind of like this in these areas as fast as these do. So keep in mind, this is the best place for cutting lumber and maybe picking up uh, a mineral in this area. So I'm going to show it to you in the map one more time. So pause it if you're watching YouTube or whichever channel you're looking on. I'll blow it up real quick. It's right there. And again, it's called, let me get that out of the way. It's called the Roderick Fort. And it's north of it. It's north of the Roderick Fort. And the location is called the Roderick Lumber Mill. Okay. And basically, like I said, you're just going to go in a roundabout location. From here, all the way back down, back here. Take about a five second break, 10 second break, and do it again. And you do that for a couple hours, maybe even an hour and a half, you'll get 460 logs. Most people, it takes almost a half a day to get that. Not anymore. I just told you a cheap trick. Easy, right? Just make sure this area is under the Midlander's control. If you walk up here and it's controlled by, like, say, uh, the other faction, like, um, like here or something like that, or the other faction, which we're kicking butt in, uh, you are going to run into uh, guards that might be higher level than you, and you might not be able to, you know, 
chopped trees and such. So keep that in mind. Always check ahead of time before plotting a location because if it's deep in enemy territories, yeah, it's risky. But now that we've actually done this, this, and that, I'm going to show you the second best place for a treasure trove of minerals. And they're just at your fingertips. Ready? Let's do it. Can I get an amen? Amen. There you go. Okay, we're going to hit the M button. Are you ready? Ready, kids. So, do you want to get coal? Do you want to get pyrite? Do you want to get lemonite? What are the best locations for those minerals? Simple, man. It's simple. I call it follow the money. No, I'm just kidding. On this map, you're going to see this location. It is the right side of the Rock Roderick Mine. Now, a funny thing, there is no mine here at all. I know it's just a phrase they use in the game. Uh, you want to go right here. Now, remember, it's to the right side. Don't go in this area. This is just a temporary event that's currently happening because you'll get picked off by five or six of the mountain bandits that are right here. So stay away. Don't try to come over unless you are high enough level, which it's still not worth it. There's nothing to get here. Um, if you try running away, there's wolves waiting for you. And I think a bear in the area, so stay away. Just don't. All you have to do is wait here and have patience, okay? Now that I've mapped it out, let's go. We're going to hit the R button, auto run, pop it away. There you go. Do, 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 do. Again, you can spend hours here just taking wood. And if you just want to keep it simple, you can make wood ballots. And you don't even have to craft anything else. And your forestry skills will go through the roof. And you'll make a good amount of money, but not, you know, wowie money. Because if you think about the, the, the system... Here's copper, iron, silver, gold. You hardly will ever see gold ever pick that up at a low level. You'll maybe get lucky to see an ounce of silver if you're lucky. So keep that in mind. You're mostly always going to see copper and iron at a low level. Don't be surprised. Okay, so crafting is what you're going to need to do. Do not avoid it. Do not rely on the auction house. Everyone thinks, if I buy it at the auction house, I'll be set. There's not enough players selling shit at the auction house, so don't rely on that. Now, you could start crafting that material and selling it when the market gets more, you know, higher, but it's not going to currently happen right now. Oh, sorry about that. My computer automatically tried to link. Oh, looks like we got a little fella here. So pop it. Bam, dead. And I don't want to collect his loot because I can't really use his fur because I'm not a tailor. Now, stay away from these, uh, what are they called, oxes? No. Oh, I don't care. We're going to call them. What the? Yeah, get rid of that. We don't need that. Yeah, stay away from these guys because they are, look what level they are. Level 68. I'm a level 47. There's no friggin' way I'm going to get near these guys because they're going to kill me. And look, there's one, two, three, four, five. That, there's enough to kill me. Put it that way. So we're going to get on the map. We'll make sure I'm not going too far off. Give me a second. There we go. I had to disconnect something. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. Yes, no, thumbs up. Because I actually had to just take my camera thing off because I still left it in and it was auto doing uh, chroma cam for some reason. Weird. Anyways, now you see where we're at. Nice little cozy place, little shack. But wait, where are the minerals? Now this is what people don't understand. They're not in plain sight on the main roads. You have to go a little distance, you know? So you see it on the map. It's a little ways off, right there. So you're gonna turn around. Now, I'm gonna pause, take it in folks. Take it in, breathe. Don't drill too much, okay? Don't, don't. I know you're gonna drool. Oh, did you just F and touch me? You just made my day, motherfucker. No, you did not. You did not just touch me. See what I mean? The, the attack system is really bad in this game every so often. Watch. I'm going to take my time. <laughs> I'm literally taking my time. Isn't that funny? I'm probably going to have to run away. This is how bad it is. Well, it's not like I have good armor on. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just die. Okay, yeah. Yep, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Auto run, just hit shift. It's that easy. <laughs> It's perfectly fine, though. I knew that's... All you have to do is run towards your guard and he'll back your butt up. But just remember, don't abuse this too much because those guards do die. Not easy, of course, but enough that it jeopardizes. And again, I still haven't mastered the whole killing system with some of these uh, uh, lower enders. But, you know, you got to be careful. Right, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do it. 
there. And here's the hard part, trying to loot these bodies. If you don't get the E right, see the letter E, just walk the hell away. I've seen people waste countless minutes here waiting for something to come out. Just ignore it. It's not worth it. Okay? Not worth it. So now that I've basically embarrassed myself, I'm a 40-something. Literally, look what level my character is. I'm a 47, and I have decent armor. Don't get me wrong. See? Decent armor. Really, this is actually a rare piece. All of those are. Oh, those. These aren't, though. But yeah, those are. So this is the treasure trove. So fun fact, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pointing these fun facts out. These these white looking rocks, don't touch them, because you do not need them right now. They are a waste of time. <laughs> they literally, literally, will dent your your pickaxe, your your regular axe. Just don't do it. You don't need it to. So we're gonna pop out this beautiful guy, my pickaxe. We call it Betsy, and we use Betsy on the coal because we love the coal. Now remember, it's going to take a while. Listen to some music. Bring a book. Watch something else on another screen, you know, and pretend it's worth watching. I don't know. Do what you got to do, but it's going to take a while. It doesn't matter how good your skills are. It's going to be this slow, even slower for you, so keep that in mind. And remember, bring extra pickaxes because your durability after an hour is going to go down, and then it's going to get slower and slower and slower. See, look at that. We got three pieces of coal, and we, and I'm telling you, you need 400. You need at least a solid hundred pieces of coal to craft a lot of stuff. So always do this. Your your lemonite, get a hundred pieces of lemonite. Coal, get a hundred pieces of coal. Logs, get 460 pieces of logs. The reason why, when you start crafting, it doubles and triples into the next item you're creating, and it's freaking amazing. So you could have like say a hundred pieces of lemonite. And all of a sudden, the next item you're going to make with it, it's like triple it. It's crazy. But I'll get to that later. Okay, we got more coal. Hell yeah. Oh, and again, don't move when you start hitting your E button because it'll cancel it out. And if you're in the middle, don't move your mouse around too much. I mean, yeah, you can move your mouse around. I'm just saying, um, yeah. Fun, isn't it? But like I said, this is the most boring part of the game. I know you're going to say, well, Dire Shade, I can just go to the auction house and buy all of this magical coal. No, you can't. <laughs> Not a lot of people are selling it, sadly. Now, you do have people in guild that are proficient in collecting resource and building stuff. No, we don't want that. It's going to dent us. Oh, beautiful pyrite. Remember, pyrite is a yes. Get it. Don't pass it up. I know, it looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> That's what I thought it was at first. <laughs> but no, seriously, you need 100 pyrites. You need 100 pyrites, coal, le lemonite. But, oh, I sidetracked myself. Train of thought. Ooh. But um, anyways, at the start of the game, when you start playing this, you want to make sure you have the right armor on, the right pickaxe, all that general stuff. Not to get too off track there. But like I said, these things you're going to need. But going to the auction house is not going to solve your problem because you're not going to have money to begin with. So don't do it. People are going to shortchange you at the auction house. That's because you know they're trying to make something off of you as well. So think about it before. If you really want to make one set of armor, then go ahead and do it. Waste your money. But if you're trying to be able to reproduce that armor over and over again for yourself and then eventually sell it on the open market, learn how to craft it. It'll save you time, money, and relying on people that are never online. So keep remember, you may join a guild. It doesn't mean those guild members are always online. So I would rely on myself over them majority of the time because only you can get stuff done but having them help you learn these recipes is something i would recommend because these guilds um legion omarta they have people that can help you craft help you learn these recipes sell you these recipes well not so much sell they'll give them to you i i'm not even a member of either guild and these guys just give me stuff and the, the much whining and complaining i do on how much i do love the game but i find it difficult to do player versus player they're pretty damn solid people also Keep as much extra armor in your deposit box as possible. You're going to need it because people are going to kill you in the game and they're going to steal your armor. Keep backup armor in your deposit box. And I'll show you where that is when uh, we get back. And I'm going to end this with two more coals and I'll start going to our next location. So this area, again, you can get lemonite, which I haven't shown you yet, pyrite, and coal. The Whatever you've seen, the jensen, the granite, whatever that other stuff is, don't touch it because... At the start, you're not going to need it to begin with, unless you really want to make something specific and you have the recipe and 
you know, you're there for the experience points, you want to make everything, then have at it. Uh, it's a waste of time if you just want the bare necessities and you want to stack up coal, stack up all this other stuff. But again, pyrite and coal, those are the two ones you want in this area. Now, again, it's not going to, they're not going to respond as fast as the logs were, but it's the best. Look at this. Look at all these guys. Do you know how long it took me at the beginning to find coal here? I'll show you the map. I'll show you the place that people said, hey, this place is going to have X, Y, Z. I'm like, was there a patch? It's like gone. You know, I'm going to blow this map up. Now you're going to see this place right here. It's called the Mines of Dunfoon. Don't go there. Do not go there. The respawn time of those minerals suck. Just because something's called a mine doesn't mean it is the best damn thing ever. It is not. I don't know who's telling you that crap. I'm showing you right here. This area, look at this. Rocks everywhere, my friend. And the ones that I haven't responded back yet. It's not bad. And look, we've been, we didn't even have to do anything. It's that simple. I'm just saying, it's that simple. But see how long it takes to use this damn pickaxe? I know you want to use your sword, but it's just as slow, and you need that to fight people. It's not meant to actually, you know, take out these rocks. But here, let's see. This is what I'm talking about. You don't need this. You don't need that. You don't need this. Pirate, you do need. You got to be careful. You got to read what the words are. See how slow it is? Let's check the durability. Watch how fast it went down. 58 out of 81. Huh. 48 out of 60. See, I would give this until level 30 to 36 before I disassemble it and then buy another one or try to create a better one. So here's the thing. If this pickaxe, you really don't want it and you have like five or six others in your inventory, dismantle it because you get experience points for your craft for it. And it's really good experience points. It's that simple. And the thing is you're still selling the extra material that comes with it when you disassemble it. It's worth just as much, just as much. Here's your, uh, let's see, no, nope, it's still your pyrite. I'm not going to mind that just, I don't, I'm, I think I'm done because I actually, before the video, I stacked up on everything. So you guys can see what it's like to have a monster styled stacking. And that's what your lemonite looks like, by the way, folks, breathing in. It is the red, the red gem, the hidden red gem you see everywhere. And you need a lot of, because when you make those wood ballots and junk, you're going to, well, I think it's the wood ballots. You're going to need them. And I'll show you here. You click the C button. This will tell you what you're trying to make. Now, just because you can click the C doesn't mean you can make this here. You have to go inside, get a forge, go to all those locations that specialize, like, you know, the open platforms for, for them, of course. But for here, we're doing weapon forging, but we're not really doing that. We're going to go to forestry. See, here's the charcoal. See, look at this. Drop the menu. These are all the wood. Any of these kind of woods, all you have to do is click on it. And it's the same result. Nothing changes up here. So it doesn't matter what piece of wood you found. The end result is it's always the same. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Now the wood ballots, these are actually going to get you more money, I thought, at first, because the last patch. Charcoal is actually worth a lot more. If you're if you're just in it right now to make quick money, then yeah, make as much charcoal. It's worth more. But sell it at a vendor. Don't sell it at an auction house. I don't know too many people that are buying them. Because most guilds have their own supply, so they're not really going to rely on the auction house. But hey, you never know. I could be wrong. It could be up high in demand now. But anyways, these are the two things you're going to start out with making are the wood ballots and the charcoal. Because they're the easiest things to make, and you're going to love them. These things are super freaking amazing. Now, the wood ballots, however, you do need your axe for it. So, yeah. Now, some of these items, the further you get down, you're going to notice you have to pay a, a copper for Like one piece of copper. It's ridiculous, but remember, you're making money off of it if you're going to sell it, so it's worth it. But for the basic ones like these, you notice they don't sell. There's no fee here. You don't have to pay for anything because you already – it's like a starter thing. You don't have to pay anything. But anyways, that's all I have to say about that. Now you see the, the – oh, I didn't even cut it yet. There you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We need background music, you know. But I can't because YouTube doesn't want me putting music in the background because it'll stop you with something. <laughs> FYI, it's annoying. So now I've given you a brief idea of the area things to do and a couple light tips. Let me show you the map one more time and you can pause it. The two best locations are here for wood and right here for everything else from coal to pyrite to some kind of forms of, you know, lemonite. Now be careful with the names of the items because some things have the same name, like something lemonite or something. Be very careful because they cannot be broken down into something else. Only weapons and that kind of crap can be broken down. Uh, minerals cannot be broken down. You can sell them, but you can't break them down any further into something else. 
Okay. Now you're wondering, okay, Dire Shade, we're, we're, we're done getting the wood, we're, we're done getting the coal, and we're done getting the pyrite. We're missing something. Lemonite. We only saw a couple here. We need more lemonite. This area only had one spot up there to get lemonite. You noticed it. So that we're not going to be here. No, this is the terrible place for lemonite. But you know what? Are we going to take the poor man's way out? Are we going to backpack all the way down? All the way down the mountain? No, we're not. So you're going to hit the escape button. And you're going to hit the unstuck to the city, to the capital city. What it's going to do, and this is going to save you money. Remember that. This saves you money. And it saves you time. It takes 30 seconds, give or take. So make sure you're in a safe spot and there's no... There's no wolves following you because if they hit you, then this resets and you don't get to travel anywhere and it's, it's a pain in the butt. So make sure you're in a safe location and you're not being chased by anyone. Okay? So be safe. And be patient. So any more questions, guys, just hit me up. I'd love to hear them because we're going to have a long waiting process here. Usually takes a little bit of time, a little bit of time. I'm always excited when I actually collect resource because it makes me feel as if I'm accomplishing something because you're getting experience and you're getting items you can sell for in-game money. So it's kind of cool. I love that system and how it works. But that's almost the same thing in most most games. But remember, Glorious Victus is not a sandbox RP MMORPG. It is not. It's different from it completely. And it's still in its testing phases, so keep that in mind. So now we're back at this beautiful, beautiful capital. Look at that. Right here. See? Didn't cost me a dime. How about that? So when you get back here, after you're done mining all that stuff, you're not done. You're going to go here, and I told you we'd get to this. You're going to click the E button, do all this crap, and you're going to hit the repair button. And see this? Look at this. I've got two iron and five copper because of every single thing I was using. So I'm going to hit repair. You're going to do it. You're going to need to. Now, while you're doing that, you're going to notice this little thing here. Oh, look at that. It's empty, isn't it? Right here. See that? No green. You don't see anything in my stomach. So here's the funny thing. See all this stuff right here? Right here, you see that? What does that say? Stamina, it's in the red. Health, it's in the red. It's been reduced because you're starving. So you're gonna buy carp. You're gonna buy, and don't buy anything else but this crap. You're gonna either buy carp or Xander right off the bat. Unless you can make eggs, which are the fried eggs, but you're gonna need the billets, which are, here, I'll show you what they look like. It's a piece of wood. That's what you're gonna, what you're gonna craft soon, of course. And let's see, where is it at? It is doo -doo 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 -doo. It's right there. No, it's right here. Yeah, the wood billets. You're going to need wood billets and you're going to need white eggs. So did I get any extra white eggs? No, I didn't. I, I'm out of, but you're going to get white eggs and you're going to go over a fire and you're going to make these beautiful little white eggs. Yeah, it'll save you time. So what you're going to do now that you've seen what these are, they're beautiful white eggs. Yeah, it says nourishment. Exit out of this. And I put already put it up in my, um, my bar here. It's at number, what is it? Seven? Yeah, seven. So I'm going to hit, oh, no, it's six, it's number six. So I'm going to press six. This is going to be boring, by the way. There's no auto button to, you know, keep it in circulation. You have to keep pressing whatever button you triggered it on. You can't just click, click all. It doesn't exist. So this is another flaw the game has. Like, you can't just hit one all. I tried hitting shift. I tried hitting the C, the control. Don't, don't work. And remember, don't move your character. Don't hit the A, W, S, D at all, or whatever your control panels are set up as. Don't move your character. You want to make sure you don't have to give a full stomach if you don't want to, but keep in mind, you're going to be walking a lot, chopping trees and doing all this shit. A full stomach is a peace of mind because just because you log off, it doesn't mean time rotates and you get a full stomach. That does not happen. And if you sleep in the game, like you click your V button and you hit the C button, and I'll show you what that looks like. You hit the V button, hold it down, and you hit the C button, you click on that. Just because you're sleeping, only your stamina and your health are going to heal itself. Okay? Nothing. It's not going to actually fix your stomach because you actually physically actually have to eat food so keep that in mind and i got to keep doing this i'm going to just one more one more because i'm not really running too far so i'm going to show you the next location now that's what the main thing i want to tell you about how to feed yourself and to repair your equipment just because you're back doesn't mean you're going to go to your storage box make sure you repair your equipment you use so you're not buying more crap because if you go out with a busted axe you got to blame yourself for not repairing your shit plain and simple and where's that button yeah, there we go. one more now be careful what you click on because it's funny because you click on these people, but they give you all these side options. It's weird. Okay, so now that we got that done, I'm going to show you where your deposit box is at. Um, if I can get out. Oh, yeah, I've got to get the farewell. So we're in the main town. Okay. This is where your deposit box is at. And 
I'm not going to open it up or anything, but I'll show you where it's at. You're going to go all the way in here. This is where you store everything. And it's a limited supply one, of course. But again, I'm not going to, because I don't want any of my stuff being aired um, on any live stream just yet, because I'm, I'm messy. But you're going to click on this, and then you're basically going to drop stuff. Okay? This is where your bank's at. Your personal bank is right there. Little piggy bank, deposit box. But for me, if you hit your I button, um, other guilds help me get these boxes in. These cost a pretty penny. They start off cheap. Then they go up to a couple silver pieces and so on and so forth. Though the satchels are pretty big. I like them. Yeah, the gray ones are a little bigger though. Uh, the brown ones are a little bigger. But yeah. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way. Where are we going to go next? Dire Shade, where, where are we going to go next? We've repaired our gear. We put our shit away that we don't need. Um, well, what next? Well, you don't have to use the most expensive thing here to transport yourself unless you have the coin. Don't do it. I'll show you a trick. Now, remember I told you we need lemonite. What is the best place on this map to get lemonite? Now, see, that's a unique thing. There are a lot of places, I would assume, but that's because they're spread out everywhere. You can see lemonite in a lot of trees on the cliff, but it's a pain in my butt to find it like that. So here's a fun fact. Do you see this place? It's called Leak Town. So Leak Town, as long as, you've, you're, as, long as you are in control of it, go right here. I'm going to show you right here. You're going to start here. There's one lemonite here. There's one here. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So I'll show you how it goes. So in this little crevice, you're going to get one. You're going to get one here. You're going to get one here. One there. Bring it all the way. Did I give away? Yeah. So it's going to be one there, one there. And there should be one about here. And then when you start walking around here, get up to here, which is barely that far away, you're going to get one there, one there, and then basically you just go around and they, they reappear again. You know, there's one here, here, uh, there, there, and there. And then obviously that little dinky one. But, uh, wait, no, uh, sorry, I said that wrong. You got one here, one there. Obviously there's one. I'll show you what the grove looks like. But anyways, you're going to set your map to here. I want to make sure you know where the spread out is because if you don't know where to look, you're going to be walking around, and I'm going to say this in the most polite way possible, your head's going to be up your ass, and you're going to be wondering where the hell these rocks I promised you are at. So I literally just pointed you on a map of where everything's at, and I'm going to show you literally where they're at. Now, maybe the the, uh, the accuracy is a little off because my hand's a little you know fidgety, but keep that in mind. And again, don't waste your time chopping trees like this as you're going. You already have a place that's called a lumber mill that I showed you stick to those areas because it's a waste to chop shit here unless you really have time to kill or you're testing out your new weapon you made but you know getting lemonite on the way however that's a different story because no matter where you go this shit's in high it's in low supply so you have to mine it but make sure your pickaxe is up the reason why is all you need is a hundred pieces of lemonite to make a lot of things in a high capacity but it takes forever because here here's the funny thing with lemonite or pyrite you break this shit down, you only get one piece of it. Unlike coal, coal and logs, you get three, four, five different pieces of that item. With lemonite, you break, you start mining it, you get one, sometimes two on a rare occasion, but one mostly. And it sucks because you have to get a hundred pieces of this thing and it's crazy. See, look at that. I got one piece here, all right there. One, goddamn one. And this takes the longest to do, the longest. And if you have a shitty pickaxe, oh, good Lord, you're going to be there forever. So keep that in mind. So now we're going to put this on auto run because I do not want to hold my button down that long. Map it out. There we go. And we're going to go right here. No, we're not. Remember, I told you we're going here. See, I'm trying to trick you. Got to pay attention here, guys. Come on. So we are right here. Got to in the driver's spot. Sadly, this window doesn't go that far. You can't minimize it. Be nice if you can minimize it. Uh oh, is that what I think it is? Beautiful, my Yes, it is. I always... Always, 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 always stop for, lem for lemonite. Lemonite, pyrite, and not so much coal. Coal, you can get it almost, I mean, you can't get it everywhere. It's hard to find, but because I gave you that really great location, you don't have to look anywhere else. And I mean, you got three, four different coals that respawn every minute or so. And each one, you can get about three to four pieces of coal from it. That's pretty damn good. So don't worry about it. It's the lemonite. The lemonite's the hard shit to find. Because you have to go in the mountains, you've got to go in the swamps, they're behind trees. They're hard to find sometimes if you don't know the, the color red or they blend in so well, it's, it's hard to find them. 
I know they tried to hide the fact that it's like it's a rock regardless, but I still I wish they would have had more better designated areas for it. But anyways, I don't like to preach to the the product too much. Uh, let's see. Um, map it out. Oops. Yeah, that's first person. If you click the end button, that's first person. By the way, it's weird how low it is. Um, let's see. What's a good? Yeah, we're gonna take you here first because there's the crevice. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure you do, I do a walkthrough so you guys see with your own eyes that they do exist. That it isn't just someone ranting to you about. I promise you, they will be there. As of this patch and the last one, it's never once moved. So depending on how many months or a year or so that passes when you guys watch this on YouTube, if it gets released on YouTube, of course, um, the patches could change. So keep that in mind. Things could shift and you have to keep track of that. I found that the hard way, one of my lumber locations is no longer there. But the thing is, the area where the lumber yard is now, the one that's always been there, it's always had wood because it's a lumber yard. Now, every lumber yard is going to have wood. The sad part is they don't respawn the same time. Like you'll chop a piece of wood and it could take three minutes to come back. If I go to my lumber yard, I get 15 to 30 seconds and then come back. And I've got a lot more than any other location. So chances are I can stock up on wood a lot faster than you can at any other location. So you want to save on time, not just on money, but on time. Because the thing is, you might be at a loss for you know mining stuff and chopping a tree down. However, the factions that are trying to invade your country, your little area, they don't care what you're doing. They're going to take your building, and once your building is gone, the guards that guard the area become theirs, and they go after you. So keep that in mind, your eye on the prize, and keep your eye on who's controlling this. Like We're controlling this area, but remember, this is the dangerous spot because this, this place right here always gets taken over every day, and this one as well. And this is the farm, and that's the lumber yard. <laughs> that's kind of bad. That's really that's really bad. Here, let me speed this up because I'm being attacked. As long as you know how to shift and use your stamina, they'll never touch you. Okay, so like I told you, right here the crevice. Pay attention. What is that you see over there? Did I tell you it was going to be there? Look at that on the X, right there. Pop your axe. Let's go. I'm going to be up. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm being attacked. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't, don't. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I died. <laughs> Did you see that? Can I erase this? Can you guys pretend like that didn't happen? I won't tell anyone if you, if you want, okay, this didn't happen. I didn't get ransacked by three, three different non-playing characters. This did not happen. Pretend it didn't happen, guys. We're going to erase this. It didn't happen. Look at that, three of them. Level 29, level 28, level 25. Oh, that is embarrassing. But I, I didn't have my weapon out. I had my pickaxe. I couldn't draw it fast. This is what I'm telling you about why you want to avoid mobs, why you want to be aware of your situation. I didn't time my stamina the appropriate way to give the boost. But on the plus side, look where I'm at. <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. Yeah, the benefits benefits of knowing your area and remember all these doors get used to pressing the, the letter e but when you take over the capture the flag locations the door stays open when you capture it but it in the game it's already shut but it looks like the door is still open though so you have to hit it even though the door is open the e button again because or else you're just going to be locked you're going to be locked in walking out of a door and the game's going to be in a little glitchy position there it's crazy but you know it's still got some bugs to work out and if you don't know what i'm talking about Think about when you want to take your first village out and, you know, take it from the enemy and raise your flag of, you know, the red or whatever faction flag you're with. If you try to leave the building and you forget to open the doors, you know, like right here, if these doors were already open in that building, you'd have to hit E button again just to open them because the game thinks it's already closed. It's so stupid, but it's a glitch. Okay, let's put this on auto and I have to go around now. Let's try this again, folks. <laughs> Yeah. And again, see, this is what I'm talking about. That's cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. They're in the weirdest spots. They're usually around buildings. They're not always in the mountains. That's a misconception. So I'm just putting that out there. It's a misconception. Just because the, the Rocky Mountains has the name Rockies doesn't mean you're going to find minerals there. Most likely, you're going to find a ton of logs and rare type of shit up there, but not always minerals. Because you'll find them deep packed into certain areas that you cannot get to. 
Like you, you would think, look how nice this rock looks like. It looks like a mineral you can mine. No, it's not. That's it's very misleading. It's not. So you got to make sure you know the difference between the minerals you're you're mining and the stuff that's just there for scenery purposes. Okay. It can ruin you as a gamer because you'll go out of your way to that amazing location you thought you saw something for like the mountaintop to find out it was just a the wrong rock. You know. I hate when that happens. Oh, I, I did it too, by the way. You, you had to start somewhere. Okay, shall we start this again? On our way to the X spot. No, okay, we're good. Uh, I should drink something. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Now, what are we going to do? Avoid the dipshits. But you know what? I like payback. Do you like payback? I know you do. You're smiling. Oh, that's that's adorable. Okay, let's kill this mother. Yeah, this is my gamer's face now. SOB pissed me off. We got to get him. Now I'm going to show you how to partly fight the right way in a, in a wrong situation. See what I mean? Got to be very careful. See, he's getting his landing hits and it makes no sense. And then he hits you. Remember, if it doesn't glow green, you didn't block it. Look at that. See, I'm barely even touching this guy, and it's because I probably have a bad weapon, but it's not. Come on. Come on. You're supposed to go down. You're not supposed to say hello. You're supposed to say goodbye. See? Watch. Goodbye. One more time. Goodbye. There. Ooh. Now, this is what I talked about. You don't need this, regardless of the statistics you see on, on like all the stats. But this is something you might need, but I've already learned it, so I don't need it. But it's worth a good penny, by the way. Well, I mean, 30, 31 copper's not a lot, but they sometimes are worth a couple um, iron. But you're going to take all of it, and in your inventory, see there? You're going to right-click, and you're going to hit disassemble. Now, watch what happens. Yeah, I do, because I'm not going to use it. Right there. See that? 200 experience points, weapon forging. And all I had to do was disassemble it, and I got metal from it as well, which was the iron scraps that came from it. And look how much it's worth. <laughs> See? That's why you disassemble shit that you don't that you don't want or need and all that kind of jazz, because you get experience. Now, let's, put, let's get our axe out. And I told you. Uh, oops. That's why I wasn't in my, uh, my auto run button. Map it out. Right here. Remember? I told you right there. There it is. That beautiful, beautiful lemonite. That's one. Ladies and gentlemen, that's one. I'm just going to mine one of them. I, no, no, I'm going to mine them as I go because I like having open conversations while I'm wasting my time away. So again, you want to make sure the durability in this weapon is still good. I'm looking at mine. Mine is about to be shit soon because it's dropped below 50%. Or I call it 50 because there's out of 60%, it's like 50. Um, the damage is 45 out of 60. So once it drops below 40 Think about getting rid of it or swapping it out for a better one. Because what's going to happen is look how slow it's going. I'm going to keep doing it with the bad one so I can show you what it's like to have a crappy one. So you don't make the same mistake I do. Because when you do that, it happens. Now, we actually have to fight these guys along here, which means you're going to get experience. So keep that up. Now, you cannot avoid these guys. So don't try slinking around them. They'll find you. It's a, it's a known fact. They will freaking find you. Just use it. You're not trying to kill them with that now. Just remember, you're just trying to do it simple. This is where you have to master how to block. These guys are fair, fairly easy to win because they don't really do too much. But just remember, if the guy has a pole, you're pretty much screwed because he's going to try to get you on uneven ground. The downside with this game, any character that has like a long pole arm or a long axe, they're going to start fighting you on a slope or something, and they have the advantage, and you can't hit them. It's weird, but that's how the gaming habits are. Now, I'm probably going to have to run soon. That's what it looks like because I can't land a decent blow. Yep. Looks like it. Oh, got him. Yeah, see, 146 pieces of copper. That's like nothing. Now, usually this is what I do. I hit the V button. If I don't have, like, this does not heal you, okay? This gets your stomach. Just keep that in mind. Um, I hit the V button and I hit sleep. Now, watch how fast it goes when you sleep. See? It barely makes a move, but if you had the right pieces of bread in you, on top of that, it goes really fast. So think about that. But you also want to make sure you check your surroundings while you're healing. You never know who's actually going to um, walk over you. And your name, for the record, your name still shows up. So if a player 
another player comes in from another faction sees you if you're not in the safe zone they can see your name even though you're, you're on the ground so make sure you're not within view of anyone if you see someone get the hell up and run yeah we're good i don't really need that much health anyways now the next one you're going to see is like right around the corner here not not like, yeah you got to make sure a lot of times this game doesn't recognize you jumping and yeah of course you're going to see another one over there but i'm not crossing the pond for that it's going to be right over there see it all the way over there that's your number two again i use this area to level up as well as get my lemonite. That's the whole point on why I like it so much. Come on, let's pop. No, I gotta do number three. There you go. No, we don't want the axe, we want the pickaxe. Good boy. Now watch how slow it's going. So you notice how slow this is going right now. It is ridiculously slow. It's because the durability has gone down and you cannot fix the durability. You can fix your weapon, but what happens is the durability keeps going down, which means how you damage something goes down with it. So keep that in mind. So right now I'm at, what, 46? Let's check. It's probably dropped. Nope, yeah, dropped by one, 45. Now I'm, on the other hand, I came equipped with this, no, that's 52. There you go. I got my 61. So you, you'll see the difference between a really slow one and a really fast one. Now there's a fourth guy over here I have to battle. These three guys, don't put it away. Put it away. I said pull away. There you go. You want to stay, no, auto run. There you go. You want to stay away from these guys because... They pull aggro really badly, and you'll have three guys. And as you can see, I, I'm a four, level 47. That guy had a shield, and I could barely tag him. For some reason, this is good level tier 1 armor and gear, everything. I'm just two pieces away from a perfect set. Okay, so Headless Horse already saw me. Now, this is the prime example of someone with a spear. On the other side of him is the mineral we need, by the way. Now, you would think, hey, I can actually kill this guy. Just because he doesn't have an armor. Yeah, no, he's slow, but he's not stupid. Just keep that in mind. Green it up. There we go. As long as you see the green color, you block them. Just make sure you don't just swipe it and walk away from it. Oh, see, he charged you. Now, you can kick him by pressing the Q button, but that's only when you see him um, shielding up. It prevents him from blocking you and throws him off. See? He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he got me. He got me. Dire shake, you go all the way. I know, it's weird seeing a headless dude, and see, these punches aren't... See? Spear guys do this, I'm telling you. There, you're dead. I don't even have to walk in them anymore. Watch this. Come on. You're dead. Now, I actually need to uh, have to... Yeah, look at all that blood. It's beautiful. It's all mine. It's so beautiful. It is, man. It's beautiful. Okay, so now that we got all that done... We're going to switch axes around. Right there, see it? So that's one, two, yeah, this is number three. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you don't know what these the chests are, I'm gonna show you a little secret on the other side. All throughout this whole continent, this map, you're gonna see special chests everywhere. Once you empty these chests, they never get re-emptied again, but you'll always see them. So remember where they are, because you'll never be able to loot them again, because they never get replenished. Now, each character can loot them once. So you never have to worry about someone stealing what's inside, but it usually has something different. It's nothing usually special, but it's worth something to you. You probably need it. See how slow this is going, though? It probably did drop again. Let's see. Yep, dropped again. That's why these pickaxes are a piece of crap. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I'm probably going to have a ton. So this is the chest. You're going to get your cursor. And I see on mine it says, uh, this container is empty. But for you, if this is the first time seeing it, it's going to be full of some random stuff. Now, you want to make sure you're all the way to the left-ish, but not too far, because these guys will aggro. There's an old guy right there. You may not see him, but he's right there. And that's the, uh, oops, right up there. That's the rock we need, so that's number four. Now, I know I'm going really slow, but I'm doing this uh, for your viewership only. That is not a lemonite. That's a serenite. I know the difference. Watch. Pay attention. It's a serenite. It looks red, but it's lava red, like a dark, dark crypt red. See? It's, it's serenite, a siderite. So stay away from that. You don't need it. Now, shit, he saw me. Run. He's a spear-wielding douche, so he's going to hurt you, and he's going to stay on these hilltops, and you won't be able to hit him. So you get him all the way out, but not too far, because there's a guy right over there. Flip around, queue it up, and attack. Always be on the defense. These guys hate defense, see? If you can defend yourself, they're easy, but you have to do it on equal footing. These guys will eat at you until you're dead. Remember, I'm a 47. I can barely land freaking blows on these guys. Look at this. He hasn't hit me really once. But make sure. Equal. It has to be equal footing or he's going to get you. 
He has a way of spinning you around with his damn long axe. A spear, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. See, hardly any damage. He's got better damage than me. Yeah, he's got me. Yeah, he's got me. I can't. This is where it starts acting wonky, where you can't hit him at all anymore. I don't understand why, but it just does that. Now, it looks like I'm hitting him, but I'm not feeling it because he's hitting me more. And that took a lot out of me. And we're still using the shitty one. Now, this should be the Lemonite. Yeah, see? Perfect. Now, there is one more on the other side. Uh, by other side, I mean like... Oh, can I do it? Yeah, it's like right up there. I'll show it to you. This is why this area is really great. And again, you use this for power leveling as well because you can take these guys. You can keep going around in circles and these guys keep responding. And you know where the rocks are at. You know where they're at. And you get a decent amount of, you know, experience. And if you look at it, I might level up. And here's a surprise. I will. Because I'm going to craft the shit out of everything we've picked out. Plus the stuff I've been storing. Now, again, when I start to craft something I've never crafted before, I look at the finished product and I look at the ingredients and I work my way backwards from there. That usually helps. Now, ready for, let's see, that was, let's see, one, two, three, four. This is number five. This is your fifth lemonite. Ready? And we're not done yet. Trust me, there's a lot more than where these came from. I'm telling you exactly. Now, given this is not like the other location where you saw all the rocks in one location, there is no other place that I've found that is like that. Not on this side. And I've been to the other side slightly. So be careful not to overexert yourself trying to look for a treasure trove. I've just showed you the best ones. It's not worth trying to go further beyond that because it's just going to kill you. Here, you get your stuff here. Now, done. Simple. I like simple. How about you? Simple is good. Yeah, see, look how slow this is. Look how slow. 43. Look at that. Dropped again. All right, so now we're not going to go any further because there's nothing else past there. And you don't want to die. These guys aren't worth it. I'm going to show you the next one. It's like right over here. You see that little white dot on the screen? It's like right there. So put the R button and put the shift. Keep your eye on your stamina. When it gets halfway, take it off. And use your bow. Aggro him in for safety reasons because there's some guys hidden up there. They can't really see you yet, but this guy always tries to drag you close by there. Get your strongest weapon out. Cue it up. One, two, three. This guy is pretty cool looking. He's like a pirate. To my knowledge, you can't go on that boat that's out there. It's just a really nice eye candy. I call it the Jolly Roger. See how bad this guy is? He really cannot hit you. Which is good for us, I guess. We're not wasting time. I know you just want to keep hacking. But if you don't shield yourself when he makes a tender blow... Like that, he just stuns you. That's what happens. If you don't, watch yourself. Given you can do the exact same thing to him, I just don't like stunning him like that because it takes too long. See, this is me just cutting him. It's weird. I can tell it's because of the weapon I'm wielding. If I had a better weapon, I could get away with more. But And there you go. I've lost track. I think we're on the sixth one now. I've lost track of numbers. Wait, one, two, three, four. Probably six. We'll go at five or six. Don't matter. But you know there's already more than five, so... And guess what? There's still more. There's still more. So let's check the map real quick. So we started here, worked our way up here, got another one, worked our way back here to get a safe path here, took the guy out here, got it here, got it here, here, here. And guess what? We're going to go up here, get one there, there, and you can get some wood here too. And then on your way back. And you just do this circle over and over again. And you can do it really fast when you get better. Let's see, look at that. Got my mining up. Got two lemonites. Ooh, swinging a, yeah, homie. Home run. Okay, so you're going to put this on auto run. Get your finger ready on your shift key. Because you're, unless you want to battle two guys at the same time, you're going to lose unless you're really high leveled. It's, it's just weird. The mechanics work that way. So what you're going to do, and what's cool is you never pull aggro if you use your, your bow. Your bow can shoot from a long distance. It doesn't matter how sucky it is if that's not what you specialize. It, it, that's what you not specialize in. The whole point is you're aggroing. You're preventing a mob buildup of two or more you know, uh, different characters going after you. You're just trying to thin out the herd just so you can get one character alone so you can take them out equally without any type of uh, mumbo-jumbo happening. Now, there's going to be a wolf down here. Be careful. Keep that in mind and be careful. 
because you don't want to pull them in while you're running because then you won't be able to mine the material. See, right there on the dot. As you can see, I've been around town. Yep. So stay away from the wolf. Not that you can't kill it. You can. I just would stay away from it because I'm desperate to get in and out. I don't want to have to battle because it, it all, all it does is drop fur. There's nothing into it and you just dull your blade. So there you go. There's another one. And by the way, if you try looking for certain things online, like the digital, they have a, a map that's online that's from the um, Gloria Victus website. It's on a, Wicca, a Wikipedia page of some sort, or like a fandom Wicca, Wicca page. It tells you where all the minerals are, are at 24-7. It's inaccurate. I tested it out. It's not fully accurate, so don't rely on what people say. You'll see where the areas used to be, but it's not exactly point accurate. Like this, this rock probably doesn't show up until like way over there. So I wouldn't. This is considered a. Uh, this region is considered a, a lemonite node, a lemonite node, which is an area full of that particular product, which is the lemonite. That's a lie because guess what? We're not on the map there. <laughs> the the lemonite area is here, and yet on that website it'll show you it's here. That's not true. You got two out here at the most, and that's about it. Now you're going to see a tree all the way over there, but I'm going to aim it for here because I don't want to aggro the guy there. You'll see he's like right there. I want to stay as far away as I can because there's the lemonite. Now we've got one more that's over there, but I just wanted to stop here real quick. because I love my lemonite. It's like my M&Ms. I want to call them an M&Ms. My M&Ms. Because they're all pretty in different colors. It's true. See how slow this is going? You see the progress chain. It's really, really slow. And this is because you have a shitty axe. The durability. Come on, there you go. See, 42. And it says durability, 38 out of 81. So this damn thing's going to break soon. But this is what I'm talking about. You have to maintain a good axe, or a good pickaxe. Make sure your skills are all the way up on it. Invest in recipes to improve it and buy better ones. Yes, you can rely on the auction house. But the question is, are you always going to have the money for it? Probably not at the start. Okay, so we're going to put this away. And we're going to go. Auto run it. Again, stay away from the, the, the windmill. Now, I would recommend taking that lump out that right here. You'll see it. This is a nice little, I call it a cute little place to at least, you know, get some wood. Get, it gives you a different workout, so at least you're using a different weapon for a change. Now, technically, if you keep going further on the map, you're going to run into this lumber yard that's right here, and it's going to go around in circles, but it's not a really big one, not like the one I've shown you, so don't waste your time there unless you really want to, since it's convenient. But remember, at any point in time, if you hit the escape button and you hit the um, you know, the unstuck to the capital, you can go straight back to your home base or the closest um, place, which I probably would be um, right here most likely, but the capital is like all the way up here, so you don't have to pay for any of that, by the way. And there you go. There's another lemonite. We're getting close to double digits now, wouldn't you think? Oh, no, we do not want to use the axe. Yeah, pickaxe. Because we don't want to dull the blades for it. I know you actually, I'll show you what you can do. I'm going to cancel that. Here, watch. I'll show you what happens when you use the, um, there's nothing that really happens. Oh, give me that back. When you use the axe, because you can use a sword too, but watch what happens. Does that look any faster to you? You can still use it, don't get me wrong, but I don't like it. Oh, yeah, and guess what? Yeah, you can use your sword. I'm just going to tap it a couple times. See, look at that. That goes even slower. So don't be that guy or girl out there using your damn weapons that you use for battle. Be a smart person, get a good axe, pick axe, and have at it. Because it's not going to be any different. But remember, thin armor is the key. Wear the thinnest, lightest armor. I'm prepping for battle, so I don't want to take mine off. But technically, you can mine with light gear and have a faster ink like a faster reproduct faster reproduction i said that right or maybe wrong i don't know you can produce better results with lighter gear just remember the downside is running into mobs and other players that want to kill you so that's a trade off so never keep rare weapons on you if you're mining this stuff and you run into someone they're going to take that shit from you so disposable products is what i would keep on you for the time being that that's how i see it anyways and there we go Wow, I'm getting pretty damn good. Uh, so now usually I would go back here through the, the forest because you're going to see a bear. Stay the frick away. You're going to aim for the, the mill right here, and you're going to save the shift button, which I accidentally just pushed. 
click it out there you know and you're just going to walk slowly slowly don't bother hitting the shift yet keep it in reserve in case that damn bear comes after you and there's going to be two guys in the middle of this like looks like a dipper that a crater of some sort like a meteor crashed into literally see stay away from there what you're going to do is click your map and you want to make sure you maintain the beach not the bridge the beach so you want to go here between these rocks but away from the two dumbasses that are there aim for what's in front of you right here see that that's what you want to aim for because right here is where your your lemonite's going to be so keep that in mind it's going to be right there you know it is so keep that in mind now again stay away from them but keep your hand on the trigger they follow you two of them you have no chance take my advice unless you're in a party don't chance it plain and simple okay we're almost there though and now i'm going to actually start using my shift to get away from these guys just to distance myself so i can get a focus i'm going to take my sword out prep it and get my hands ready on the s key see where he's at now sometimes it might not respond right away so you go to the other guy over there hit the f button and there we go one two three. Oh, i went over there you go so yeah see it's just a little cut in action I love this part though. The, the system is hard to get in track because, like, you you pull this way, you expect, hey, I'm gonna block you. That's not what he thinks though. Oh, his friend's right there too. Great. <laughs> so if you screw up, guess what? His best friend's gonna walk over and whop you one. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. Watch this. Ready? I got him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Close call there. Close call. So stay away from his buddy, which we saw over there. And we're gonna do a roundabout. What we're gonna do. Because the respawn's not done yet. We're going to go here, and then we're going to come back, and it'll be there. It's sometimes off because of how fast we go, or because, well, that's how it's time. It's not like the other location, though. Remember, it's not going to respawn. And remember, that is not what you think it is. It's Serenite. And look at there. It's back. Oh, no, it's back. No. Oh, well. So we're going to pop it out. Pop it out. Pop it out. I said pop it out. Wait until your health is just right. Hit the V button and sleep for a couple seconds. If you don't already have any type of food on you, you're just going to sleep. Wait until it builds up, though. The reason why you want to do this is because if you attack this guy on a hilltop, he's got the advantage and he's going to move around, you know, <laughs> like he's a boxer, and it's it pisses you off. You can't land a goddamn hit on him at all. His pole will push you away for whatever reason, and it pisses me off. And you'll see. Ready? get up i'm gonna shoot him with the i want him off the hilltop i don't want to come to him yeah this really doesn't do anything look at that don't do shit to him click it up and we're on equal ground see i can actually block him you just got to be very close but not close enough where he can arm tag you and then you get to hit the yeah you have to make sure you're close to use the q button though when he has his, his, uh, his spear up like that See, this is where he does his footwork. I hate when he does that. He protects this area too well. Come on, come on. Oh, he's got me. He's got me dead to rights now. I can't I can't lock on him. See? Can't lock on him. I had no problem doing it a couple seconds ago, but look at that. He's gonna get me, I gotta run. Oh, he got me, ladies and gentlemen. And I was an inch of killing. I've learned not to get mad anymore because I'm going to come back and I'm going to shove a dagger up his you-know-what and I'm going to enjoy every moment of it. But why would we take a break from that? Let me uh, address the chat. What do you think so far? What do you think uh, the outcome is going to be in, in terms of um, how long you think you're going to put into this kind of game? How long do you think it's going to take you to craft something? Do you have an idea? Do you think it's going to be an hour to make something or three days? Because if you're thinking it's going to take you know, an hour to craft something, then unless you're making one or two items, <laughs> I'm, I'm just laughing because it does not take. If you want to make an item, yeah, you can make one right on the spot. But if you want to make money and gain the experience, you're going to be there for three hours, five hour investment. Trust me. I know. To get 460 logs, I did a 45 minute investment to an hour. 480 of them and that was because I found that location it was a pain and you have to make sure there's no one else around you so keep that in mind when you're doing this do not don't come into this thinking um, 
I'll be making something today and it'll be ready, it'll be nice. Unless someone's giving you all the items to make to make what you're looking for and you have the recipes and your skill set is exactly where you need it to be. Yeah, you're not doing a goddamn thing. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> you, you'll be chicken with its head up its ass there, going back and forth, wondering, oh my god, where are the minerals at? Back, forth, back, forth. Well, yeah, that's not how it works. But anyways, I'm going to get my vengeance on that guy first before I show you show you guys uh, the next step, which is the more, imp more impressive one we actually should be going to. As you can see, I'm a level 47. I have, I'll, I'll say it again, I have decent tier gear right now. See this? Level 70 to 80 gear, and I'm only a level 47, soon to be level 48. So, see? Pause it right there. Not bad. This is my favorite set, the Ralph Britters. It's actually pretty good. I don't believe there's a armor set bonus you get, sadly, so keep that in mind. And your name does not appear on your armor if you make it yourself. So if you sell it to someone, your name still is not on it. So if you have the most amazing armor with great stats that you made, no one's ever going to know it except for the person you sold it to. And they may not even care themselves. So keep that up. Just keep that as a reminder. Okay, so we're just going to zip bomb by this little prick. And I'm going to get the last one. And I'm not going to complete the rest of the circle because we're pretty much done. Because if you think about it, look how much crap. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. Got to hit the I for inventory. Look how much crap. Well, you got the, yeah. This is how much crap we've got. Look how much lemonite. We only need 100 of them. Ready? 159 lemonite. <laughs> coal, charcoal, <laughs> that's crazy, 3,960, coal, 619, and I just screwed up, look at this, I just ran right into him, so I'm going to speed this up real quick now, because I just screwed up, I didn't watch where I was going, oh, see, look, it's already back, but I can't touch it now, because i got to run for my damn life, now, they'll give up eventually, but if you keep running around in circles, they're not going to go anywhere, so don't do the whole ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, because yeah, don't do it. Uh, so, wow, we're already pushing an hour and 42 minutes. This has been fun. No, it really, really has. This beats the 10-minute video, that the 10-minute or less video I saw on YouTube. Um, it was insightful, but it was misguided information. Okay, are they gone? Oh, no, no. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are still there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if I can get on the outskirts. Yeah, okay, they're gone. Now, let's pull this guy out. He should see me by now. Yep, he saw me. Okay, so I owe him a payback. And look at this. His health is back, damn it. Now, I'm going to try to battle him on the hill. Watch how hard it is. Come on, come on. Oh, damn it. See, nothing's sticking. Look at that, look at that, look at that. How the hell are you supposed to get in? He's moving. This is like hard. It's hard because your hand has to do a dance on the mouse. I promised you I'd put a freaking thing up your butt, buddy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, I know you ain't going to do that. No. No. You ain't going to stun it. Ooh, what was that? Oh, no, no. What was that? Oh, let's no, let's see what that. What was that? No, don't need it. No, don't need it. Ooh, no, don't need it. I guess it was nothing. Huh. Look at that beautiful blood. Look at it flow right out. It's beautiful. I'm going to watch. Slowly take it in and watch it go away. It's beautiful. Okay. And now we're going to do the crappy one real quick. I'm going to show you the crappy one. Now keep track. This is the crappy, crappy, crappy pickaxe. Now, do you see anything that resembles going fast on the bar where we first started out with? Because I don't. I, I really don't. <laughs> yeah. Let me get some more drink real quick. So this, this is why you bring a book, you have a movie, maybe an anime episode. It takes a while. Now, if you guys have any questions, concerns in um, the Twitch chat channel, let me know. And if you have any comments on the YouTube clip that I'm releasing with this as well, and, in, and on any other social media, uh, leave it in the description, uh, underneath the description below on YouTube, in the comment section, and I'll see what I can do. Because I can always revise the video and add commentation to it as well if anything's changed, including um, the new patches that come out. Damn, that took forever. Okay, now see, this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to show you the one all the way over there. So I want to see what what is this at right now? Okay, so this is the 40. This is this is what a 40. This is one with shitty low ones. So now we're going to switch it up. Ready? We're going to go to inventory, 
and we're going to, is this the one? Yeah, okay, so we're going to switch it out, which means don't just drop it there. It doesn't mean it's on them, see? It's not. You have to right-click it, so you want the good one. Right-click it and equip, and check it, verify it. Okay, we verified it. It's the actual pickaxe. And remember, it took how long? It took a freaking, more than a minute almost. Watch this. Yeah, you notice the difference on how fast the bar is moving? It's what we call progress. <laughs> See? Now, you can't always rely on these kind of axes, so you bring three of them with you. So you got at least a good, you know, maybe 50 to 60 mining sensations. To, maybe, I say 30 to, 30 to 50, depending on how lucky you are on mining stuff. And you don't get attacked while mining. You could get at least more than 30 to 60 pieces of material without... Yeah. And there we go. I gotta fight one more guy. Come on, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Come on. No, I ain't your daddy. I'm the tax collector, motherfucker. Those teeth gotta go. Oh, no, we gotta go. Huh. Scratch that. We're going back to the city. <laughs> yeah, we're going back to the city, folks. <laughs> Dire Shade knows when he's been beat. Okay, so we're gonna get farther enough away, and I'm gonna show you Obviously, the easiest way to get out of dodge, and you cannot do this while you're under attack, so don't try it because it does not work. It takes 30 seconds to clear. So unless you know something I don't. Oh, right, they're gone. See, look at that. They're gone. Bye-bye. So I could either walk, which sounds stupid, by the way. We have to go all... No, not there. All the way over here. In here. This is where I have to go to finish it. Now, do we go straight through the pond, or do we cheat? And not cheat, but take the easy way out. Eh, take the easy way out. We're going to unstuck to the capital city for free. And we just sit back, get a drink, breathe. It's been a bumpy ride so far. This is what goes in to crafting and collecting resource. It does not look easy, now does it? But it's fun if you think about it. If you know how to operate the right way, and you can come in and out of the different areas without getting like killed, like me, sadly. Because uh, I'm too focused on the stream, so I, I have to focus on different screens at the same time. But if you focus, you wear the right gear, bring the right armor, anything can happen. Now that you're back in the main city, and let's bring out the map so you can see it, so you know I'm not anywhere else. Let's get rid of the X. This is where you're at. Plain and simple. But you're not going to go to the crafting tables yet. The first thing you're going to do is simple. First of all, you're going to heal yourself. All of your weapons, heal them. Don't nod your head and say, I'll do it when, I, when I'm ready. No, because you'll never remember. Just do it now. Save yourself the time and effort and trouble. And if you're low down here on your, uh, your food supply, which is what's keeping your stamina up as well as every, a couple other things, you want to buy carp or you want to make food for yourself. Now, I used to buy carp and then I started crafting um, eggs for myself. So as you can see, the eggs are right there. The fried eggs are really good. Uh, but you do need the wood billets for them, though, so you do have to actually do a lot of resource gathering for that particular thing. But I put mine under the number six, like I've said before, and I just sit back and watch here. Watch right there. That's one. It takes a while. Once it falls below that little thin line, it starts. The stomach starts to turn the color yellow up on the upper left corner up here. But you can't see it because it's been blocked by all my um, information there. But um, but yeah. I'll keep going so you guys can see the uh, green stomach because I actually have to feed this character or he will not move as well as he should because he's got thick armor on to begin with. If his stamina drops, I am screwed. And if I try mining with hardly any stamina and all these deductions and a wolf decides to bite me, I could die right away because of the health deduction. It's crazy. So now that you see this like right here, this little green stuff, that's the stomach. See? Now you can fill it all the way up if you want. I usually don't. I do if I'm going to be out for a long time, but I'm just crafting, so I, I don't need it, really. But see, now that we've done that, and you've gone all the way outside, that's right, you went all the way outside, because I know you're going to do this, you better do this, you're going to buy new equipment. Now, you want to go to the auction house. I know you guys so want to go to the auction house. Here, let's see the magical auction house. Because I know it's like, come on, Dire Shade, show us the auction house. Fine, you're going to go all the way down, scroll all the way down, go to tools. Do you see anything that you can use in the tools section? No. Remember, it says tools. The only thing that you should ever be able to buy is this, and that's expensive. Don't do it. So you're going to go to consumable. See right there, consume? Weird, because that usually implements 
it usually has a meaning of drinking something. Remember that. Remember, drinking, right? Consumables. Okay, okay, I got that. I got that. Let's go a little further. Okay. Going down a little further. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, we've got wood here. That's not consumable. Okay, I, I, let's go further. Yeah, see, these are materials. They're not consumable stuff. Like, this is not consumable. So you can actually get your metals here that you need, your lost stuff. But you're not going to see the tools that you actually need. They give you the material to make the tools you need, though. But if you were looking for tools, they'd be in this section. This is why you do not rely on the damn auction house for some of this stuff. Unless you want a rare recipe, you know, you can check the auction house. But if you want something simple, get your shovel here, get your pickaxe here, and get your normal axe here. Remember, you're going to disassemble your weapon if it's broken. Don't bother repairing it if it's got low durability. Just go here. Like I told you, click the E button. Click the I want to buy, blah, blah, blah. Scroll down, and there you go. Just buy what you need. It's that simple. See, look at this. Cheap, right? No, oh, cheap. Also, um, if you scroll down and you have the actual money later on, I'd recommend buying the apprentice shovel recipe. And you get crafting points for it in junk when you start to try to attempt it. Um, it's pretty easy to make. Um, I'm not in the mood to making them because I'm saving for the master one. Because I want master everything so I can just build my shit and sell it on the open market for you guys. I'm that kind of nice person. I'm not really in it for the money. I just want to be able to, to make it. But yeah, that's all you have to do. Remember, heal your shit or disassemble it, but replenish, replenish, replenish. That is the name of the game. If you walk around with a dead axe, you saw it firsthand. Look at it. I'll show it to you. If I, would, I think I repaired it. Let me check. I hope I didn't repair it. I want to see, show you guys a bad example. Yeah, I repaired it. It's repaired. But Oh, no, there it is. See this? 48. This one took how long for it to fucking hit the metal, the, the actual ore from the ground? A pretty good while. Then when we switched to this one, it was clear, it was smooth sailing. Not the best smooth, but it was better. So keep that in mind. Now, am I going to disassemble it? I only disassemble my my axes, my um, my pickaxes, because my master axe doesn't really dent as much. It's really nice. My uh, pickaxes, I get rid of after 30 to 36. Because that way, because so, sometimes I want those axes that take forever to use because I'm going to go to the bathroom or I want to get a quick drink. You know, something like that. That's okay. That's fine. We got a reason. Go shoot for it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the crafting time of the day. Are you ready? We're going to craft now. This is what you've been waiting for. This is where you, you wanted to know where the money's going to come from. That's what you're watching right now. You're like, okay, Dyer Shay, show me where the money is. We went through all these different you know, tips and advice on how to find the right metal in the right location, the right wood, what to avoid, what to find, what to wear, what to buy. But where does that get me? Oh, okay, dude, this gets you right here. In this little section right here, this is what we call, oops, sorry, it does that. It's still buggy. But anyways, this is your little slice of heaven. If you are a an armor smith, or I'll show you. If you are one of the following, if you are a forestry or farming, if you're mining and metal, engineering, armor smith, weaponry, not so much um, artifact. That's not not really. Just the bare minimum. The things you can't do here: cooking and herbalism, tailor and leather work. Those things are on the other side, all the way over there. Keep going straight down there, and you run into them. But like I said, this is your prime place. So you're going to have to have money to burn here. This guy doesn't do anything, so don't talk to him. He, he ran out on his bill at the bar, so they, they tried to put him up here somewhere, but it didn't go well. So now they're charging him to stand, and he just went on strike. Poor fella. Anyways, so go there, blah, blah, blah. You never really have to read any of this stuff unless you really are that desperate. So this is where your basic stuff you can buy, but I, I mean... Unless you are really going to solo and you can't find a guild to join, these are, these are the first places you'd actually start to look at for good stuff. But we're going to scroll down. Ignore that shit. Scroll down, and you can buy all these recipes. All these recipes. See? Beautiful, right? So what you're going to do, you, hopefully you're listening, buy this one. See this recipe? Mail five and one. That is the recipe we are doing right now. It gives you the most money out of what we're doing. I will hold this up right here so you can see it. Mail five and one. That is what you want. Nothing else. Just this. Now, eventually, you're going to want the rest, but this is the end game. This is the final product you're making. Now, I'm going to show you what it really does. So, you're going to hit your C button, okay? 
So we're going to go, and this it usually takes me a while to find where it's at on here because I go through all four of these so damn quick. It's usually under Armorsmith, if I'm correct. Yeah, mail five and one. This is what you want. These are what you need to buy. So remember where the toolbox was outside? Here, I'll put the M back up. Do you remember when you were outside all the way over here? We're getting your shovels. That's where you buy the tools. You only need to buy one because you can reuse it many times, surprisingly. You only need one of them. So that's already one item you have. Now, the big steel rings is the next recipe you're going to need to buy. So you're going to go back here, look for steel rings. Oh, look at that. And you buy it and see everything underneath inside of it. You get to learn big steel rings, small steel rings. All of those mini scrolls go with it. So pretty much done deal. Now, I said I'm going to work backwards to forwards so you can see the end result that you're making. You're making the male five and one, which means you need this and you need a big steel ring in order to make the male five and one. But wait a minute, big steel rings. Shit, I've got to make this now. Okay, so let's go to big steel rings right there. And look, we can make them. I'm not going to make them just yet though, because I want to start from ground one. Now, the things we have to use yet again, look at this, tools yet again. But wait, thick steel wire. Again, you're going to go back to the store and you're going to, if you haven't already bought it, you buy it. It's going to be in here. Simple, right? That's why I love this formula. So now you're going to look at thick steel wire. Okay, fine. Where is stick steel wire on the list? Okay, steel. Uh oh, it's not here. Nope. See, no thick steel wire because it's not there. Click on the menu, go all the way back. It's going to be undermining probably. So thick steel wire. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Yeah, I, I am wrong. <laughs> let's, let, let's let's play this game. I love playing this game. Uh, thick steel wire. Where is it at? Uh, is it here? Nope. Thug. It's got to be under wood probably. I don't know. I've been wrong before. Let's see. Thick. Nope. It's not there. So yeah, I, I must have been wrong. It must have been under um. It's thick steel wire. Thick, 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 thick. Nope. I probably passed it up. I do that sometimes. Hmm. Is this something I can already. Yep. There it is. So it's under engineering. So thick, thin wire is what you want. Thick steel wire, not the thin. Stay away from the thin one. Okay. Don't do this one. Okay. It's, it's a waste of coal, first of all. So you're gonna go to thick steel wire. Now, we already mined that coal. Remember all of that uh, beautiful coal we made? We, we uh, mined. There it is. See? No need to get it. And then you have your toolbox, which is still there. But now we have to make a steel bar for it. Okay, so let's find a steel bar. Steel bar. Where is the steel bar? Where, where, where? Oh, okay, it's probably under um, here. Yep, steel bar right there. Okay, now we've got to make steel bar. Charcoal. Iron lump. Pyrite. Well, we've already got our pyrite, so no need to look at there. Charcoal. How do we make charcoal? Remember, we'll come back to this one, but charcoal. Hmm. Go to forestry. Charcoal, remember? Doesn't cost you anything, and all you needed were wood. Guess what? Look how much wood we got. 605, 313. You have all these different kinds you can make, and it does not affect your stats on whatever you're making. Ironically, <laughs> there's no downside to collecting all these different woods. If they were smart, they'd give each one a unique stat. But thank God they didn't, because that would make more work for us. Now, we have to go back to the other item that I had mentioned, now that we know where the coal's at. So we actually need to go to mining, and we want a lump, an iron, is it an iron lump? Yeah, iron lump is what we're gonna need. And what do we need? Wood billets and lemon, uh, <laughs> I always pronounce it wrong. Uh, lemonite and we already have our lemonite so we're good we don't have to mine it we're done see it was that simple but wait wood billets shit okay so let's go back wood billets so we're going to click on forestry wood billets is the second one down and guess what same thing huh now for the sake of this video if i show you my inventory real quick i've already mined everything so i already have my billets so i can focus on one over the other so i'll show you my billets now where are they at? Billets, billets, billets. Oh, right there. I've got 4,963 if you can't see that. So I'm saved there. And as for charcoal, I've, I've got the same thing. So I, I don't have to show you how to craft these, but I'm going to anyways, just so you have it for reference. Now, of course, at any point in time during um, uh, the upgrades they have in the patches, these recipes could change because in 2016, there was a different recipe to make the mail, the mail five in one item. And I will leave a link below so you can make the comparison on your own. And the video is a lot shorter and a lot more informative. However, it's out of sequence. And if you were to try to perform that now, you'll notice that 
most of those items are no longer in existence. There's two items. Uh, it's called like a semi-hard steel ingot and a soft one. They don't exist anymore in the open market <laughs> unless you had it stored in your deposit box back in the day. Okay, so get rid of this, and that's pretty much it. So you're starting from ground one, and I actually, let's see, do I want more coal? Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm trying to think. Nah, yeah, why not? Let's make some coal. So I'm actually done now. We've got everything we need from this guy. Okay. Again, he's the first guy. The second, the other guy is right here. Whatever else you need, he should have, unless um, you're making a unique item. These are the weapons, obviously, but also other things. See, um, the iron smelting, all this other stuff. Now, if you have the coin, buy these. These saves you so much trouble. Look how much stuff's inside of it. Simple club. This is when you get more advanced, of course. I'll leave it up for reference so you can pause the screen. It's easy, right? I thought it was. Yeah. But this is where you're going to get your pickaxe, um, your apprentice, and how you do all that kind of stuff. But, but yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, you do have a good selection of basic weapons up here to buy. But save your money. Make it yourself. You'll be surprised. It's a good starter stuff to have, but make it yourself. You'll notice the uh, numbers are nicer on your weapon versus what's on here. Okay, so now we're done screwing around there. This is the easy and hard part. The, the easy part is finding the smelter. Now, see these guys right here? Not that one, of course. I was using that as a bad example. Uh, the lumber yard is what you're going to do for your wood if you're making your ballots or your charcoal. So remember that. Because if you don't have this in front of you, you cannot access this, the forestry. Like, so if I were to just make it out in the open, as you can see, without that being there, watch what's going to happen. See, it's not going to make me, it's, it's not letting me do anything. It's, it's literally not here. I'll try it again. Okay, I would like to make six of those. Sign me up, man. Let's see if it works. I, I'm curious. Let's see if it works. Oh, it works. Must be because I'm in the action. Oh, it's because, um, I don't know. I don't know. I just know it's cool to do that. See, I'm just doing three. Do you see this? You sit back, you relax, and there you go. See? And then you go to your next one. You can, oh, And there's no difference in the wood. So if you think, oh, but, but that one has, no, there's no difference. Don't don't go there, please. Um, let's see, what ballots? Do I want to make more? I've got how many? Let's eye it up real quick. Um, do I have an, you know what? Let's make it easy. I want 13 of these. Uh, these ones and we'll take 13 of them because I, I really don't need too much of these I already have I'm gonna be making thousands of them of course so you just sit back you notice there's no money for these yet but when you get higher up on making stuff you'll start paying a fee so that's where you get it and I want you to direct your attention here look at all the experience and then at the same time look at here you get to see when my next level is gonna be am I doing anything special do you see me walking around? Do you, no, because when you were out, you know, collecting everything, you were getting experience points, and it went up here. <laughs> Same thing's happening now, except now you just get to sit down, drink a beer, drink some coffee, drink whatever you, you drink best, and yeah. See, it's actually pretty cool. And we're done. See? And you also get this kind of stuff. But um, now we're going to get into the, the easier stuff. What do we do to our next thing? So... Like I told you, we've got to go all the way back to start. We want to get the male five and one, which means we've got to get the big steel rings. So what do we do? Big steel rings. But I want to make sure we have everything so we have to go to the thin steel wire. So let's go back to the thin steel wire. Thin steel wire. We should be like, what, right here? Thin, thin, thin steel wire, right? That, no, wait, 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 wait. Did I say that right? I got to check myself now. Male five and one. Big steel rings. Big steel rings is what we wanted. And out of the big, thick. This is why I double check on what I say. Thick steel rings. You guys should have said something, meanies. Uh, so we got to go back here. Thick, thick, thick steel wires. And guess what? We still have to make steel bars. So we're going to go to steel bars. So melting steel bars. No, no, no. I went to the wrong one, did I? I didn't think I did. Steel bars? Is it this one? Steel bars. Steel, steel, steel bar. Yeah, there it is. Undermining, duh. Steel bars. And the only the only thing we have to make, look at that, 4,000, by the way. And I'm actually, I'm checking my notes right now. I want to make sure it's the exact number it needs to be. Yeah, it says you actually only need 2,200 charcoal. 
I've got 4,000. That's freaking ridiculous, by the way. The chemo, the chemical, the uh, the material back in the day for 2016 when you made this, you're supposed to have 100 lemonites, 4,000 wood billets, and 2,200 charcoal. Well, I have more billets than I need, and I have more charcoal. So the only thing I need right now are the iron lumps. So let's go to the iron lumps. And guess what? That's all I need. So what we're going to do here, and pay attention, we're going to click the all button. So we're going to make 81 of them. All of them. Is that all of them? 81 of them. Remember, 81. Hit create. Sit back. Drink a beer, like I said. It's going to take a while. Okay? But look at the experience. Look at that beautiful experience. Isn't that nice? And look, I'm not doing a damn thing. This is my hard, this is what all my hard work, work added up to. But guys, up in the chat, let me know. Do you like what you're seeing right now? Does this make sense? Is this that easy? Yeah. I showed you the easy spots on where to get stuff, the right tools to use, how to upgrade them. It's that simple. And even a place to park your butt if you just want to walk, if you just want to walk and get something to drink. There's that artifact area where you use your shovel. And you always get something. I left my shovel there for two hours, and all I did was every so often jiggle my mouse. And by the time I was done, I had nine pieces of silver earned out of everything I sold and dismantled. It's pretty cool. Now, if you leave it unattended for more than that, per se, or the screen freezes, it auto logs you off or it freezes you while you're in game. So keep that in mind. Now, I wonder what, how many iron lumps we're going to have, right? That's what you're going to ask yourself. We'll find out. But I think it's not going to be the real number because I already had some iron lumps to begin with. But we'll see. The final number should shock you. But it's kind of weird. I usually have music on in the background. But this is the only way I could produce this uh, video to YouTube was not having music in the background. It's weird. Like you hear yourself echo. I spend a lot of time alone doing this. It's kind of sad to say that out loud. No, actually, uh, last time I did this, it spent me almost 40-something minutes because I had above 6,000 different um, large the, – the, it was the steel one. It was the um, – it was after the steel bars. I made a good amount of them, and it took a long time. So I went out. I shopped. I came back. It was still not done. <laughs> I had like a late lunch – or like, I call it late lunch, early dinner. <laughs> By the time I came back – it was finally done and it had frozen. Terrible. But that was my fault because I should have, you know, should have manned the computer. But teach their own. But like I said, the lemonite is going to be your hardest thing to find at first. But since you now know the, the correct location at this present time until the next patch, obviously, um, you're set. You're not wandering around freaking out. But just remember, when you start from level one, it's going to be hell on earth. When you start to go mining and chopping trees, I recommend being between levels 15 and 25 is a good start. Now, does that mean you're going to be able to beat these, these characters that are out there? No, you're going to be running. So bring extra armor, keep extra armor in your, your deposit box, and have a positive mind on how long it's going to take. It's not something you can just do on day one. It takes a lot of time to get used to it. And the attack system in this game is ridiculous at first. As you can see, I'm a high-level character for this area. These characters are level 20 and blah, blah, blah. I'm almost level 50. It's ridiculous. I should be able to cut them down with one shot. But you know, you have to master, you have to master how to block, how to attack, and how to time your attacks right. Plain and simple. And I know this is boring as hell, but this is what happens when you craft. Okay, so now, whoa, what's this? Well, okay, yeah, I don't care about that. Um, let's go back. Now that that's all done, we're going to go back to, no. We want to go back to, yeah, male five and one, which means we want big steel. I always do this backward thing, big steel rings. So we go back. Oh, we got here. Nope, wrong one, right? Big steel rings. Yep, big, big steel rings right there. Oh, big steel rings. This is what we actually want. And wait, no, let's go back. I, I think I read that wrong. I should, there you go. Nope, there you go. So big steel rings. We want big steel rings. Beep, 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 I do this a lot, by the way. Uh, big steel rings. But we're not ready to make those yet, though. We want to make thick steel wires. So thick steel wires. 
Nope, did it again. Thick steel wires. Nope, did it again. Engineering, thick steel wires. Thick steel wire, which means we have to now make steel bars. So steel bars and thick steel wires. Okay, just remember those two things. Steel bar. Can we make a steel bar? No, we cannot here. So that means it's in the middle side. So steel bars right there. And we have everything we need, as you can see. So max it out. It's 81 of them. Create them. It's that simple. Now, usually you're supposed to get around 100 lumps. So we got the short end of the stick there. So the number isn't always going to be the same for people. So please keep that in mind. Sometimes it's not always going to come out to 80. It might be different for you. And after a patch update or something, the numbers could be thrown off. Currently, that's how it stands for me. It might be different for you. So that is my disclaimer. Maintain an update on when the next patch is going to happen. And, and always check what that patch included. So I'm going to wait on that real quick. Come on. Give me my, I want the, oh, that's right. I can't get my, I can't get my inventory open. That's kind of sad. So this is the waiting game. And here's the here's the sad part. If you think this is a, takes this long to do stuff, wait until you get to the final step on how much stuff's been produced. It's going to blow your mind because it's like times three of how much stuff's been produced. And this is me do this is, again, the small side of me doing this. If I really was going to go out there and mine, I'd take off a day, obviously, and I would spend 16 hours mining, chopping trees, getting everything in order. I did a nine and a half hour stream uh, a few days ago, and that's all I did. Bitch, complain, and <laughs> enjoyed it because I could actually complete something. Yeah. Now, see, we could make so much more if we had more iron lump. That is the downside. But, you know, it's the luck of the draw. But look at this. Look how, how much we're leveling this shit up. It's slow, but look, it's, it's still working. This is how you power level without actually trying. I'm not doing anything special, anything different. You saw me from start to finish on how I got there. Now, given I already had wooden billets made, that's the only difference. I made them in advance, and I made a few other different things in advance, just so I'd have more to show to you guys that that's what's possible. But again, if you're looking for numbers, I'll throw out some random numbers. Uh, the lemonite, get 100 pieces of lemonite. Uh, wood billets, you want 4,000 wood billets, which comes out to about 460 logs, give or take. 420 is good for a minimum, but I recommend 460. And then 2,200 pieces of charcoal. The number sounds big, but every single time you pick up, you do the whole you know, mining of charcoal, you're not mining charcoal, you're making it out of wood. So if you got the 460 pieces of wood, that wood creates charcoal automatically, and it's like doubles it by two or three. So you never have to mine charcoal. You mine coal, but you don't mine charcoal. So keep that in mind. <laughs> but you do have to mine coal for the other reason, though. I know that's confusing, but when you try it out for yourself, as you've seen me do, you'll notice there's a difference between charcoal and coal and how it's made in this game. You can make charcoal out of wood, and it becomes a wood ballot. Or, um, I think I'm in there. No, I said that wrong. Uh, you can make uh, charcoal out of wood, plain and simple. However, the wood ballot is made with the, the um, lemonite, so you have to be careful of that. I think I said that right or wrong, but if you watch the video a couple times through, you should be able to see the process that I did. Sometimes I run over my own words. Um, okay, so that takes care of that. So the steel bar, what does that become now? Huh, steel bar. We already got that. Go back to here. Mail in five. Want big steels. Big steel. Big steel. Beep, 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 beep. No, we don't. Big steel and big steel rings, but we don't want that. We want thick steel wires. Thick steel wire. There it is. And guess what? We already made our steel bar, right? We made it. So guess what? There you go. Simple, right? It's literally just click. I always have to backtrace because some things have similar names and there's four different departments above in the tab you have to keep clicking on, and your brain explodes after eight hours, nine, ten hours of doing this straight in a row. So have confidence that you can do it and you'll be safe. Just have confidence. You'll be fine. 
I actually love how long this takes, but I mean, look at this. We're already at 75. This is the small amount. When we get to the final stage, it goes above 100. <laughs> but this is how you level up all of this. All of this. Just by doing what I just shared today, right now, in this, in this stream and in this video. It's that simple. But up in the chat, guys, on Twitch, let me know what you think, what's on your mind, and what you think of this so far. I'm going to get a small little drink. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Just getting a little drink. Hmm. But let me know. Do you see this as a hard feat that I've just done, or do you see it as being very easy? Because I hope this video inspires you. I hope this stream has inspired you to check the game out and to have a, an easier time doing things instead of asking questions. I find out, I found out that if someone's going to teach you something in this game, you're not going to get it. They're going to ask you to join their guild, which is great. Join a guild. But the thing is, all you have to do is watch this video and you really don't need a guild for that. They're going to ask you to join a Discord channel. Oh, I own a Discord channel. You don't have to join me or do anything. It's full access for anyone. Just watch this video as you've done and follow those steps and you're safe. And after the fact, after doing that, if you still feel a guild is worth it, then join a guild. I recommend joining Legion or, or, Mar or Marta, one of the two, because they are the top guilds on the Midlander side. And they offer so much, from tools to recipes to armor to protection to partying. But they're never always on at the same time, and they're spread slightly thin. Like one day you'll see a whole group of them, like maybe seven, eight of them in this capital. Other days, I'll be the only one there, or you'll see no one there. And it's just great, depending on what server you're on, of course. And this is only for the Midlander side. So be careful. Be careful on signing up for guilds that you're not aware of. You want to make sure you have the full story. You know? So after we're done with the, the thick steel wire, we're still doing this, sadly. Supposedly, we're going to make the big steel rings. But I'm going to check. You guys already know the answer, and you're like, Dire Shade, don't check. You already know. Well, I kind of want to see how much of uh, how much we have to go on. I'm still shocked. My engineering's only at 13. Everything else is roughly above 20, but I don't make a lot of things in the engineering one anyways. I'm here for the armor. I'm here for the weapons. Anything else is a waste of time, but, you know, they want you to train and know that, get the recipes, so be it. So, this is actually pretty easy. Now, the fun part is after we're done crafting all of this, we get to sell it to the vendor, and we make a killing, usually around... 20 silver pieces to 37 silver pieces. I know you're thinking, well, all that stuff you've been doing, shouldn't it come up to like one or two pieces of gold? That's not how the market works, sadly. The vendors don't give you that kind of money. In the auction house, they rip you off. So keep that in mind. Okay, now that we've got all of that, we're going to go back here. And we're going to go to here, Melon 5 and 1. And yep, big steel rings. And that's it. Ready for the last step? Big steel rings. Come on. Big steel rings. No, I said over. I didn't collect the wrong area. Big, 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 big steel rings. Nope, buckles. There you go. 358 of them. 358. Remember that number. 358. I told you it was going to be a lot. You're like, dire shade. Holy cow. This is me doing it on a small scale. I did triple that number not that long ago. And I was there. I, I just left. I like, zoop, gone. That was hilarious, though. I don't know. I, I enjoy doing this, but you should bring a book with you. There should be a warning label somewhere when you're doing this. If you go above this many materials to create this crafting item of some sort, bring a book. Bring your PS Vita, your PSP, your Nintendo DS, whatever. You, tw you know, any type of Nintendo says, whatever you got, bring it because you're going to get bored. Look at this, 340 something. If that's how much it is for the second to the last step, think about my last step making the male five and one. <laughs> Blows your mind. It's like, he's actually going to make a shitload of money. I, I took, what, the stream has only been on for two hours and 19 minutes. Given I already had extra wood on top of that, but it literally takes you less than five hours to do this on a good day. On a bad day, you're looking at maybe seven, seven hours. This is just to make hardcore cash in this game, to make decent coin. Also to up your skill on everything in all four of the main fields. So you're gonna be getting you're gonna getting skill on the oops. You're gonna get skill at the forestry and farming, 
the engineering, the mining, and metal metallurgy, and the arms smithing, and sometimes on occasion the weapon forging. But we we're not doing weapon forging right now. This is mostly all meant for armory, arms, arm smithing. But now I don't know how rare the five in the 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 male five in one material is, whether it's going to sell high on the auction house. But don't test that water because there's not enough people in game that really care. They're off capturing the flag. They're off doing this, this, and that. If you want to make money, other than how I'm showing you, get good at making an armor set. If you can have a full armor set, you know, the head, the shoulders, torso, chest, uh, the boots, the hands, if you can complete a full set, that is worth its weight in gold. That is what everyone is looking for. Out of desperation, we'll spend whatever we need to to get our armor back because when we are defeated in a player versus player battle, in a tournament or well, not so much in a tournament since I don't do that at all. But uh, if you're attacking someone's castle or someone's village, they can technically kill you in game and take your shit off of you. So keep that in mind. Don't keep anything valuable unless you're willing to lose it. Always have a replacement in your your deposit box, which is this little chest in the main building, in your capital and in other locations as well. So play it safe. Unless you really love living on the edge, then more power to you but yeah this is actually quite fun i told you it was going to be this long did dire shade lie to you no dire, dire shade was straight up in your face about it i had 300 plus items just on the second to the last one what does that tell you about the last item i'm going to show you and i'm going to make and then i'm going to sell it's going to be a long time <laughs> that's why i was like sit back relax kick your feet up take a breather we're going to be here for a bit. So a lot of things that I did notice um, while playing this game. Uh, you know, player versus player battles aren't that bad. But if you're going to do it, don't do it alone. Going solo for the first time looks and feels great until someone stabs you in the back. And then you take it personal. <laughs> because they take your first set of armor off of you. And now since you're broke, you have nothing on you now. And now you have your hand out asking for armor or... You're, you know, you're trying desperately to kill little animals that can't hurt you just to get your, you know. But if you were smart and you took my advice, you got that shovel, at least you can start to pick up some armor, some artifacts at that one location. So I'm going to show you it one last time. And then I'll actually, well, can I get the map up? No, I can't get the map up. But um, when I'm done doing this, I'll show you it on the map one more time. And then I'll go there. Uh, there's, a, there's a place outside of the capital. It's a little pit where you can get artifacts and all these random little chunks. Like it could be rock. It could be... Uh, pieces of armor, but it doesn't cost you anything. All it costs you is time and repairing a shovel. That's it, because your shovel's durability is going to go down. So I could walk away for four, like two to two to four hours, come back, and my whole inventory could be filled with random assortment of rocks, food, broken equipment, good equipment, and I've got my money back. It's pretty cool. But that's that's only if you are broke, and that's what I told you. The first time you play this, get a shovel. It will save you time if you go broke. That's why you will see every single people from Legion, the Guild Legion, people from the Guild Arm Omarta. They're going to be there. They're going to be shoveling for the good stuff because they got time to kill or they need the extra resources or they need these rare materials that, that you can find there on occasion. So take my advice, get a shovel. Save me, saves you and me, you know, all that. It saves me face and it saves you time. How about that? How about them apples? Oh god, look at look at look at this go. I'm still level 16. I love this though. Now, picture me doing this 3 times a week, not every single day cuz this would just kill me. I do this 3 times a week as of now. I'll be going into my second week officially. I love doing this. It levels me up, but what I do is I mix it in between certain things. I do the battles, I help people. It's kind of fun. But yeah. Sorry, I need to take a good break every so often. You guys are fun. You guys are the best crowd. If you guys haven't followed me on Twitch already, follow me. I've got loads of great tips to come in the days, the months, years to come. So stick around. It's going to be a fun party. I'd love to have you guys. If you guys follow me on YouTube, I this video is going on YouTube, obviously, and also my Twitter page. Um, and I, might, I also have Instagram. I've got Google+, Instagram, Twitch, Mob Crush. 
um, Periscope, which does your mobile devices. Um, am I missing something? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mixer. I've got too many different social medias. Let's be honest here. I've got Player One. I've got Steam. So if you can find me on any of that, I linked all that information either in the description in YouTube or in the description down below on my Twitch page. So you can find me, follow me, message me. I will help you when I can, when I'm online. I never say no unless I'm in a battle. And wow, I just leveled up. Yay. And look at this. I didn't even have to get up to do anything. Ain't that amazing, man? How about them apples? Okay, so I'm just going to pour one there. Eh. One there. I can't do one more, so I have to wait. There you go. And here's my skill chart. I always, I have to redo this eventually. I hear this one's pretty good. The instant regeneration. I think I was it. The Man of Steel. I forget which one of these. The, one of these are the best ones to have. And I kind of went. This is the archer route. So remember, don't go here unless you want an archer. See, bullseye, that kind of crap. Just saying. There we go. And get rid of all that. It's pretty cool. I didn't think I'd level up just by sitting around like that. But that, but I also get achievements every so often too. So keep that in mind. Oh, Papa, what is a max level in the game? The max level in this game is 200. No, I'm just kidding. The max level in this game is 100. <laughs> Fantasy Star Online Episodes 1 and 2 that came out in 2003, both for the Dreamcast, Xbox, and the GameCube, and it's also on PC. It was maxed out at level 200. But I, I always like to say that because that's my favorite game of all time. Uh, for um, Gloria Invictus, um, this game in itself, its max cap level is 100. But the funny thing is, there's no restriction on the level of armor you can put on. So your character could be an, could be a ranger, and you could put the thickest ass armor in the world. It's based on your skill, not your level. That's the funny thing. You could be level 100, and it wouldn't matter. If your skill matches what your armor has, then you're safe. That's how it works. But um, I'm just putting that out there. So max level is 100, and you can wear whatever you want in this game. There's no restriction, which I love. The downside, if you don't have any skills, like if your stats aren't there, then the armor's just going to hold you down and drain your stamina. So I recommend if you are going out there, you're going to chop wood, you're going to mine stuff, you're going to be out there a long time, you're not there to capture the flag, wear light armor. Because your stamina is going to take a hit if it's heavy armor. That is a fact. It's not an opinion. You'll notice that. That little bar that's like right down here usually, that's all green. I think green or yellow, I keep forgetting. It is... Um, it's going to take a hit if you have heavy armor, as you've noticed. And by doing so, you're not going to be able to mine or chop trees down as fast as you would without it. Now, does that mean, great, I'm going to strip down? You don't want to strip down and start mining stuff because of the animals around you and junk. You're prone to attack. And once they get you prone and you can't move and there's two of them, you're dead. So keep that in mind. Now, you don't lose any gold if you die. And you definitely, you do not lose any items if you die by non-playing characters and, you know, regular regular um, interactive AI characters. However, if you get killed during a player versus player match by taking over someone else's castle, your body for 30 seconds or so can be looted. Your armor, weapon, you name it, it can be taken from you. So be careful what you have packed. And if you can, invest in backup equipment. I can't stress that enough. Invest, invest, invest. It sounds terrible to keep saying it over and over again, but I went belly up broken. <laughs> I'm glad Legion and Omardo, those two amazing guilds, were there to um, supply me with guild with um with support from their guilds, currency and well armor. Shit, they got me hooked on a really good armor. It's because of them that I started crafting because I wanted to make the armor that they were handing out. It's pretty cool. Oh, my engineering's at 19 already. Wow, I thought it wasn't it at 12 like what five ten minutes ago? I forget. I forget. But as you can see, this is really fun, right? We should blow a beach ball up and go out on the on the beach and reenact Top Gun. You can be Goose. I'll be Tom Cruise, you know. Come on. I usually have that song in the background when I have regular playthroughs, when this isn't streaming on YouTube. But um, on Twitch, uh, I always play my music because it drowns out the hack and slash backgrounds you hear. Even though I shut the game volume off, sometimes it comes through for some reason. I have no idea why. Now remember, we had like 300 plus items from the last uh, craft we just did. The last one is going to be ridiculous. 
you're, you're going to watch what's going to be made and how much. Now, I wish I could have like five or five to ten pieces of gold being made out of what I've just done, but that's not what's going to happen. I feel like I got shortchanged. Let's be honest. I feel freaking shortchanged. But I love the experience. It gives my character experience points. It gives the crafting I'm doing experience. It's leveling me up in both areas. And I get gear out of it if I really want to keep it. Like, I honestly do not know what the male five in one, uh, wherever that's at. Uh, oh, wait, that's right. and It's on the next page. Uh, but the male five in one, I'm still researching on. I have no idea what it's used for and how rare it is. I just know out of everything you can make as a beginner, and if you can get it, this you can get the most money out of. But do not sell it at the auction house. You're not going to get the same value. See, the vendors don't change their prices on you. So they don't have to haggle. It's perfectly set. If you sell it on the auction house, you got like six days or so, it's just going to sit there. And hardly anyone logs in 24 You know, like you have people that take three days to log back in. Some people are, you know, once a week. But, you know, it's not a fully released game. So keep that in mind. The auction house is good to sell a full set of armor. Yes. Okay. Maybe if you have a maxed out account of charcoal, um, steel, thick steel wire, even go for it. But don't go putting like 50 pieces of this, 100 pieces of that. You're not going to get your money's worth. Now, if you double that, like say I need 200 pieces of, um, uh, we'll say pyrite, pyrite or um, lemonite, which I really need 100 of both. If I could find double of them for cheaper, for half the price of wood, you know, that it, half of what I would get if I were to sell it on the open market to, um, not open market, but to a random vendor, then yeah, I might think about buying it. But since I know an easy location to mine it and in a short time, I'm going to save my money and I'm going to waste it leveling myself up because you get to level yourself up while you're mining and doing all this shit. It's like a learning experience. Do you take the easy way out and pay money to something and lose out on the experience? Yeah, it's up to you. It depends on what your work schedule is like and how much time you're willing to sink into this. For me, it was a no-brainer. I wanted the experience. The money was the end result. That's my prize. I don't want to be broke at the end of this. That would just suck. I did all of this to wind up with a cheap set of metal that I can't use because I'm a low-level character still. See, this is high-end material that I'm making, and that's what makes it so damn expensive to buy because they don't sell this in a vendor. They can buy it from you, but they don't sell it. That's the crazy part. Okay, we're getting close. You getting excited? It's getting down. 14, 13. I, I love that. Look at that. We're already at level 20 as an engineer. Ain't that beautiful? Look at this. I already superseded everything down here on level requirements. The only things left I have are like the craftsman shovel, all, all this. That's pretty, pretty cool. Here, I'll let you pause the screen. There you go. See, it's pretty cool. All right. So, so the next step is the male five and one. Okay, here we go. A thousand. That's sixteen hundred almost. Remember, I did three times this a couple days ago. How much money do you think I can get for each one of those? One thousand six hundred and thirteen. I don't know, friends, but we're gonna find out. See, I can only make five hundred and thirty. 537 of them though, but see this product is worth more than this. Just remember that. Now my number was off because I actually wanted um, the lump, the iron lump or whatever. You were supposed to have 100 of them, 100 being produced, not 80. So the numbers are a little bit thrown off. So I might not land at 30 to 37 pieces of silver I make off of this, but I recommend at least having round up you want more product than what i've mentioned so instead of like 100 lemonites 100 um pyrite get like 150 125 so you can make that you know go the distance if you can if you have the time always aim for higher because if you don't you're not going to get good money because you never know the next time you're going to be in any of those areas on the map or if they're going to be controlled by your faction so take as much as you can while you can you know that's the kind of attitude i would give anyone you know take what you can when you can and not when you can't. Because when you can't and you have all the other parts of this puzzle to make an amazing material, 
and the one or two pieces of rock or something are on the other side of the map, or you're screwed if the other faction is there waiting for you. <laughs> a lot of those people do camp out. They do wait for you. They pounce. What they do is they set up shop and they wait for you. I've seen a couple people like that, but lately I've been safe. But yeah, guys, up in the chat, let me know what you think. If you have any more questions, because we've got, I would say, a good amount of time, wouldn't you think? About 500 uh, pieces to wait for? <laughs> this is amazing. This is so much less time than I had before. Before, I had almost in around two hours, just maybe under two hours. It felt like three, but uh, it was just crazy. Like I said, the more material you get, the more you can make. But just remember, some of the products, like um, in the armor creation section or the weapons, they're going to be a little thing here with a little number that tells you how much copper it costs for each rotation when you click the arrows. So this is one of the one of the areas where you're not paying anything. Sometimes you do have to pay a small fee for some reason to make stuff. It is crazy and it is a crime. I demand to see the, the our local magistrate, <laughs> but we don't have one, so oh well. Like, where's the tax collector's office? I got a bone to pick with them. Like, what's this little uh, little gray area there that says, you know, extended taxes? <laughs> I'm basically I'm paying to work. They're not paying me to work. This is a scam. Sorry, I just had to say it that way. You gotta understand that is a crime in itself. But it's just a game. But you're paying to put something together that you're putting together yourself, and then you're selling it to make a profit. At what point in time, what does that money go toward? Are you renting something? No, because the iron and everything out there is free. I don't get it. But okay, you know, they're trying to make it difficult, set boundaries, blah, blah, blah. What they should do is take that money and put it into your production. You know, like the villages that no one touches or goes to but needs upgrade, upgrade features. Well, that tax can go into your crafting. So it's like, okay, this will cost five copper. That five copper will be donated to one of the many villages that your nation, that your faction has. So you could have a brand new uh, lumber yard. You could have a brand new mine, farm. You know, that's the tax purpose. It works in your favor. I don't see them doing that, though, so that's their loss. I think it's a good idea, though. But it allows you to be lazy and other people to do more work. So if you push yourself to collect a lot of uh, timber, all that kind of stuff, and then craft it, more power to you. You're helping society. Uh, it's good to take a breather. Oh, we're almost close to a three-hour marker. Still feels short, though. To think, they made a 10-minute video, give or take the time, um, just to talk about what I just described in that time. And I did it in more detail so you could actually understand. Given that I died somewhat on the way a couple times, but we are going to ignore that fact. It did not happen. We do not speak of it. Uh huh. We call it the Great Calamity. It was so great, it was a calamity. Bazinga. I don't care who trademarked it. I'm using it for a selective purpose, but I will give credit to the Big Bang Theory. Thank you for creating an amazing phrase that is caught on. Yeah. I need a catchphrase. <laughs> it's got to be like a unique catchphrase that sparks interest, but also has you scratching on your head like, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> you need something like that every so often. I mean, look at this. I'm already at level 24. I'm about to get to level 25. So guys, you, you're seeing me level up right now. In the comment section, how easy is this? I want, I want to hear you guys' honest opinion, anyone that's in the chat, anyone that's on Twitch right now, or uh, on YouTube uh, in the comment section down below, or on Twitter even, you can private message me, or on Google+, or any other social media for that matter. What do you think of the, te the techniques I've shown you, and where it currently got us at the end right now? Do you think it is a safe recipe, a safe um, procedure that I put up there? I don't think I said that right. Do you think it's a safe bet is what I'm trying to say? A well-invested time? Or do you feel there's an easier way to cut corners than this? Because if you were to cut corners, I would say go to the auction house. But in doing so, you do need coin. You need money to spend money. You know, you need something 
You got to spend money to make money. That's obvious. But if you spend too much, you go broke, and then where does that leave you? Seems like a pretty easy way to level. Oh, well, thank you, Papa. Yeah, it is. The guy who did it before, he was talking on the video. I, I will definitely post it on YouTube in the uh, description section below on his link. He's a great guy, and I understood his video somewhat, even though it was out of um, out of sequence, and the recipe no longer exists because the products no longer exist. Uh, those semi-hard steel ingots do not exist anymore. And I did talk about it on the Glory, Gloria Vindic, the GV website. How about that? Uh, and uh, I got no response. Well, that's cool. Um, but I try to make this as detailed as possible because that particular YouTuber, which is a great YouTuber, by the way, he didn't talk about the location. He didn't talk about the techniques. All he told you was about the recipe. That was it. And the recipe doesn't exist anymore, by the way. So it was a flawed video because I actually watched it all the way through. And I thought, okay, I will buy this recipe at the end instead of at the front, at the beginning. And that was my mistake because when I went to go look for the recipe, it no longer existed because it's not in the game anymore. So fun fact, and it's a disclaimer. I'll go, how about this? It's a big disclaimer, not just a fun fact. Um, big disclaimer, always check when the next patch is going to be done to this game, the next update. And then check or ask what those updates were. Because if they have anything to do with a recipe, material, stat, um, not so much stats on an object. No one really cares about that just yet. Just ask those questions or find out. Because if you go all that way without buying a recipe and you buy all the material to find out that recipe no longer exists, you're now out of time and you're out of money probably. So you got to be safe and watch that kind of stuff. So always ask a couple questions in open chat. But... Well, follow my cursor. See where my cursor's at? When you always log in, make sure this is on the nation's chat. If you hit it in anything beyond here, it goes in a global chat so both all the faction, all the different sides of uh, that island can hear you, both good and bad. So people that are out to get you, <laughs> supposedly, or take your, your village, they can read what you're saying. So keep it in nation talk, just to be safe. But yeah, ask for help in the nation section part, not the help one. And this will actually get you a lot of results real quick. Maybe not a not right away, depending on what time you're on, but you'll get a result eventually. Uh, let's see, Papa. What was your faction called again? Midlanders. Here, I'll show you what it is. It's oops. Let me. Oh, I can't. I can't. The map's not going to come up, but it's the Midlanders. It's the color red on the map, and it's the one that is noble. I guess that would be the best way to describe. It. They were the European styled ones. Uh, the yellow faction, in my opinion, is more Eastern, Middle Eastern, but I could be wrong. But I was actually there today. I went into their capital, and there was no one there. And I couldn't ransack it, but I was killing all their, their hardcore guards. And it was funny. It was like everyone was out the coffee break. But yeah, uh, there's the uh, the blue seems to be the second best one. They've got, they're pretty good. The Yellow League, uh, I always forget their name because then you got the, the Sigmars or something or, or the blue guys. I keep forgetting. But the, all of the leagues go, it's red, blue, and yellow. Don't go to the yellow unless you want a challenge. If you want a hard, hard outcome to taking villages, do the yellow. But they really, honestly, they are not a, they're not a good faction. But it's based on the guild, not so much just the faction. Um, the blue, however, they seem to have their shit together, but they don't really hold up that well. They have a lot of solo players, so I don't see too many guilds yet. I've only been attacked like a handful of times. Now, as for the Midlanders, which is the red faction, there are a lot of good guilds, and they have the oldest guild, and since their side has a lot, a better start, uh, yeah, Midlanders, you get a handicap, everything's sad because you have a better start. That's why I like it so much. But yeah, you're definitely welcome. And I would get into contact with Legion or or, Mar or Marta, I always pronounce her name wrong, or Marta, it's with an O. Uh, both of those guilds are the top guilds in the Midlanders fra uh, faction. So keep that in mind. Any other faction, I have no idea what their guilds are, nor care, to be honest. Uh, but Midlanders already have two top guilds. They will recruit you on day one. But if, you're, if they're going to recruit you, you make sure you get something out of it. Names of other characters, a friendship connection, something like, when I say a friendship connection, you know, like an, a friend's request, make sure you add them to your friends list. Make sure you know you know when they're on. Get a time, because 
this could be the last time you see them for a while. Like they could recruit you and they, these are the people that could be gone for two weeks doing an exam or something. So be careful. Make sure you know who's hiring you in a guild, who's setting you up on a recruitment. Make sure uh, you ask for help. They'll give you armor. Do not be afraid to ask for help. They are there to help, teach you, and guide you. But do not let either guild bully you into doing a tournament if you don't want to. They are very nice about it, okay? But they are also desperate to have support because they want more active players. Learn to say no, but learn to enjoy the game at the same time. Go at your own pace and not someone else's. That's how I've always viewed the game. You get really good at playing a game and then someone wants you you know, to start listening to them and taking it in a different direction. Then that, that might not be your cup of tea. So find out what works. Do you like playing capture the flag? Do you like just mining? Do you like creating armor for people? Uh, do you like killing chickens in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. Do you like taking a sleep at your enemy's capital, knowing they can't kill you because it's a, a non-PVP zone for some reason? But then all of a sudden their guards can kill you. I don't know. It's whatever, you know. Everyone's different, and that's what's unique about it. For me, I kind of love taking... I like playing capture the flag, but I don't like staying there long enough for the other team to get a hit on me. So I look for any way to get out there as soon as possible to take the villages back. But I'm also the first one to bail once my mission's been completed because I don't want to be there for more than I have to. Because if I see someone from the other side coming after me and they've got better armor and you can tell, yeah, I'm logging off the game. I'm not going to pussy out. It's just my armor is not where I want it to be. But I want to help as much as I can for my faction. So I'm not considered a useless player. So I want to do as much as I can with the short time I have when I'm online. And then, of course, I stream it so everyone can see how bad it really is. Again, I'm a solo player, but I do love parties. I would love to do more partying if I had better equipment. If I do get better equipment and uh, finish the rest of my setup and get a better sword, obviously, yeah. I will definitely think about um, doing more uh, missions with them, but we'll see. And look at this. We're still going. We're at 219. And we're at 20. Look at that, 27. That is crazy. I got to run for 15 minutes. Be right back. Okay, man. I won't go anywhere. I'll wait. But yeah, what's unique about this game, in my opinion, is the structure on how guilds are operated. Guilds actually have their own castles, and they have to maintain them, or I believe they lose them. But what I don't like is that you can't change the color of your armor. It's not like Elder Scrolls Online. You cannot change the color. There's no die station. So if you have uncolored armor or it looks awkward, you can't fix that unless you go out and replace all the armor to something that works, which is terrible. They should have, like, for premium users, a die table so you can change the color. Make it into achievements like Elder Scrolls Online. Just putting that out there. It sounds like a viable idea, in my opinion. Um, another good idea would be guilds having their own tabards, like specialized tabards that give guild members uh, a buff or something just for being part of a guild. Like every single time you're fighting in a party full of your guild members, you get a buff or I, I don't know, maybe health regeneration, something. That way it gives you incentive to join a guild. And I feel like there's not enough incentives in this game. There's enough for me to keep playing, yes, but I'm saying to intrigue me on, wow, that's a unique situation, wow, this is a great quest. Missions in this game are terrible. For me to find a mission in this game, I have to walk into the middle of nowhere in a town on the other side of the map or somewhere close by and walk up and click on everyone. There's no marker above their head, there's nothing, and that bothers me. I mean, I officially know how to look for the quest down where they're at. It just it's terrible that it just it's terrible that you cannot um have faster act like an ease of access to them like you don't have like a shiny little um icon above their head saying hey pick me I've got a quest it's just it's kind of a shame but if I would have if I would have had that feature at the beginning I might have leveled up a lot quicker because World of Warcraft you can get to level fifteen to twenty in the first two three hours give or take. If you're that good. So here, not so much. You can't level that quick. Unless someone's willing to party with you and they keep a distance so you can properly level up, you will not level up really fast. And do not let them drag you. It just doesn't work. Don't let other guilds, people drag you onto their party without you understanding what they're doing and where they're going. So you can actually change your armor to something that will work for you. Because if you're, a, if you're a bow, if you're an archer, 
and you have light gear and someone recruits you and they want you in the front lines, chances are you're going to fail because that's not what you were built for. So choose your armor wisely, choose your guilds wisely, choose your clothing wisely. You know, so your weapons, your weapons, your armor, and whatever guild you actually um, feel is working for you. I recommend that. But you hear a lot of guilds say they can help you craft, they can give you XYZ. I, I don't fully believe that. But what I do believe is they do have a lot of talented individuals that can, in fact, support you when you need it. But they're not always available. So remember, just because you're in a guild doesn't mean you have access to them 24-7. They're normal human beings. They're not all going to be online at the same time. And that's another particular flaw, which is why I keep telling everyone, if you merge the top three guilds on the Legion side, you wouldn't really have much of a problem with much. Just saying. Pretty easy. But yeah, guys, up in the chat, let me know what you think. If I'm rambling on, because I'm never out of breath, by the way. If I'm rambling on or if I've lost you completely in dead silence. But let me know. And if you haven't followed me on Twitch already, follow me. If uh, you're on YouTube, definitely uh, subscribe. You can find all that in the links below. And on Twitch, all that information, it's under links itself. So you just scroll down, you'll find a set of links to everything. And you'll be set. I've got a circle. I've got Discord. You name it, I've got it. So let's do it. And we're still only at 116. Wow. Well, it, what level 29? And we're we're barely. I think we're finally we're past the halfway point. This is freaking amazing, by the way. Still going. Uh, brings back good memories on other games I used to play. So let me know in the chat uh, what other games everyone else has been playing. Does this game remind you of anything else other than Life is Feudal, which is another great game? I will pretty much, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the description section when this is finished and I'm done uploading it, I will be writing a thick description on both how to make something here, well, how to make what I've just described, all the way down to a lot of other interesting details. So you have access to Steam on where to find certain things, obviously. Um, a few different other things. So I'll just put that out there. It's my way of giving back to the community. The best that I can anyways. And you can tell I'm tired and I'm exhausted. Which means it has to be what? Oh, it's only 11. No, it's... Oh, wow. 3.06 p.m. Oh, good God. That is uh, a bit light there. Oh, 82, we're getting close. We are getting close. I'm out of stuff to talk about. So I'll fall back on what I wanted to open up with. Um, again, this is a guide to describe how to find material, where they're located, what to bring with you, their general location, and also what you can make out of set material if you put your mind to it and if you're willing to go the distance. This is the easiest way that I know of to make coin without complicating it, without asking for help, and that it's affordable. Because it is. And I also am going to show you, again, the place you should go. If you can't find money anywhere and you just have a little shovel or maybe still a sword. Well, you can't use a sword on that part. But if you found a shovel or you bought a shovel for really cheap because it's not that expensive, you can mine away as much as you can. Even when you're, I'll say even when your weapon is dull. Yeah, technically you can still keep mining, but then your sword or I said sword because it reminds you of something else. Uh, your weapon in this case would be the um, the pickaxe or a normal axe. Uh, if it gets worn down, chances are you're not going to be able to fix it. But if you keep many of them, you should be able to, you know, you'll have your options open. You can tell I'm getting tired. I'm overlapping. <laughs> Help me out, guys. Throw me a bone. Ugh. Throw me a bone. I wonder if my... I'm going to have to go out for coffee. Yay! Coffee. But anyways, guys, what I was originally trying to say, uh, this video is supposed to help you with tips, shortness to get the stuff, and point out all of the necessary flaws that I've seen that people make and add it into stuff that would complete the game to make it more accessible to you without having you raise your hand and ask questions. So this in itself should be enough for you to get started. Now, any other particular recipe you'll have to find on your own. Not all these recipes can be found 
at any of these vendors. Some of them are really hardcore um, recipes you're going to have to find through killing bosses, most likely, finding those rare chests, or even, um, ooh, look at that, Armsmithing Apprentice, da -da -da -da. level 30. But yeah, um, oh, lost train of thought there, because I got so excited. But anyways, you want to make sure to take your time when you're doing this and find the right recipes. This place doesn't have all the recipes that are listed, as you can see. Uh, some of them aren't included, so you're going to have to check the auction house. You're going to have to ask your guild or friends or live chat, whatever. Um, you're going to have to locate online where the bosses are located, what their drop rates are, um, that, that kind of stuff. Or you can go to the, the, uh, <laughs> the area that I'm going to show you in a few minutes, and you can just sit there and hope you find a really good artifact that's worth something. <laughs> and that'll also help you. It's like every minute, couple of minutes, you'll pick something up and it's for free. And the only thing that it cost you was the cost of the shovel and the cost of its repair for its durability. And that's it. Now, once in a blue moon, you'll find another shovel and you really it'll save you the time and effort. So, hopefully once this is over, I will show you. Okay. Are you ready? You get to see how much is there. Okay. I think it's, what, 500 and something? Let's check it out. Okay, where's it at? Nope, male three and one. Nope, there we go, 500. Here, let me see if I can lift it. There it is. Okay, so if you do the math, I've got 538. 538. So forget that number. Five iron piece, five irons a pop. That is crazy. Five, 500, okay, wait. So, what's the math on it? So, like, what, 538 times, what was the number? Wait, I gotta keep going back and forth. What was the number? Inventory it up, 538. So, the number is, there you go. And we got 538 at five a pop. Now, if I do the math, which is five a pop, we're going to get um, 2,690 pieces of iron. Now, if you contribute that into what, what silver is, um, which I, I can't do that math in my head, sadly, that's how much pieces of silver you should be able to have for the record. Okay? So, now I'm going to show you one last time, now that you've got everything you need. Because now you don't need anything else. It's time to make the money. But before then, before that, again, I'm going to point out the easiest place to make money if you don't want to lift a finger, other than what I've just shown you and all this kind of stuff. You go get a shovel. You go in the front yard, literally, and you dig. You dig? <laughs> Here, I'll show you. One last time. So you guys have this for personal reference. When you get in the city... Right here. See? Right around here. You're going to go straight at the front. Right there. And let's show you on the map. It's going to be right here. There you go. Oh, sorry. Wrong place. Ah. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right there. That's where we want to go. You got me all excited. And I was like, man... Okay, so let's let's redo this. Take two. Click. Okay, so this is where you want to go if you really need money. And you don't want to do a damn thing. Ready? You're going to go out these doors. Here's the map. And you're going to mine in this area right there. And by mine, I don't mean you're going to be hitting rock. I mean, here's a shovel. Dig. You dig? So whatever money you got, scrap it together. I, I don't care, man. Become a pickpocket. Don't look at me, man. Rub two pennies together and pray for a miracle. Do what you got to do. Okay, right here. Click the E button. Ignore everything else that's on here if you've already bought everything you needed that I've mentioned before in the at the beginning of the video or the stream. And you want to go all the way to here. You want to buy a city's novice shovel. Eventually, you're going to upgrade this to a master's all the way down the road. You know, journeyman and blah, 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 apprentice. So you're going to buy it. It's a... Right there. Once you buy it, it's going to show up in your inventory, wherever that may be. 
for me, it's like right here. Ta-da, right there. I'm going to drag it, hold my left mouse button down, my left mouse button down, and I drop it here, and it's now in my number one slot. I'm going to close it, and there we go. Simple as that. Click the one button. Oops. I click the one button, and then you can hit the F button to hide it, or pull it out, don't, whatever, pull it out, and just hit the E button. Hit the E button. Oh, that's right. You got to make sure you see it first. There you go. And it's going to go slow because it's a beginner's uh, tool. So disclaimer, the weaker the tool, the longer it will take to get something. Okay. I want to make sure that disclaimer was there because it doesn't matter how high your skill rate on anything is. If your tool is a piece of shit, it's going to peak. It's going to operate like a piece of shit. Okay. If that makes sense. So it's going to take forever. But watch what happens. Once this is done, look at this. I'm not attacking anyone, and this is a PvP free zone, so no one can attack you. Because this is right next to your capital. But once it gets to here, you get experience. You get a free item, sometimes money. This is freaking great. This is what you actually want to do when you go to the bathroom, for the record. And there's this guy, Faith Fayfield. He's always here, so say hi to him for me. And Chili's, he's always here. Say hi to him for me, too. Uh, I've never seen Von, Scott, Von Slick. I've never seen him before, so I have no idea who that is. But he's a solo player, it looks like. He's not with anyone. And what is that he's got there? No, it doesn't say. I have no idea what the leaf is. But, um, but yeah, this is all you have to do. simple right but that ends it for um yeah for now anyways um i'm going to show you how much uh moolah i can make now and as you can see if you uh saw this right here follow the cursor right there earned 30 experience in a craft mining and metallurgy gained one cal curse rock and it's going to show up in your inventory as a curl crook rock should be that one right yeah see and guess what it's worth 40 copper I take that and move my ass, put the shovel away because you don't want to hit anyone. And all you have to do is just sell it. Don't sell it on the open market. Just go to a vendor because they'll give you top dollar for it all the time. And this is another way you make money. The scrolls are the ones that sell the best because everyone wants them. Um, I actually never keep these. I sell them because they're worth more. And again, if you see more than one here, like this has got three, you hold down the shift button. Click the right side of your mouse, and then you hit sell. No, I'm just joking. You don't do that. I just want to see if you're listening. Uh, you put down the shift button, and you press the left side. You'll get this. It'll, this will pop up. Just give that a little wiggle. Done. Same thing for here. Oh, that's just that's just the one. There are 161 of these at 40 a pop. You ready for the number to drop to drive up? Barely, right? Uh, so shift down, left, let go of it. Blah, blah. Boop. Yeah, it's pretty much that simple. Not really in the mood to do too much of this. I know you guys want to see how much the uh, the male five and one is. So what I'm I'm gonna try to do it the oh wait did I sell it? Oh this is iron scraps. You can't break down any of these sadly. There we go. One more. Okay, I found one more. I'm going to bring that up there. So there you go. See? And if you can, I'd recommend healing yourself. Again, in case you think, nope, it's probably the shovel. And there you go. You save yourself the trouble. Now remember that number. I've got nine nine silver pieces on my character right now, which it's not too bad. It ain't win the lottery, but hey, it started out with one piece of silver. One piece. So I say that's a good day so far. Now... I know this is weird because I just I just left that guy. I can sell my metal to this guy right here. Okay. So here we go. Shovel. Metal. Now where's my beautiful metal? Right there. Now I'm gonna sell all of most of all of this right here because I don't I I I'm only gonna keep this stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this too. So I'm gonna keep these guys. I actually like to I, I keep those, the bolts. Yeah, I keep these two. 
Um, yeah. So I'm just getting rid of uh, these right here. So this is worth, yeah, that's that's really it's worth a pretty penny, the, the Iron Grivna. But yeah, this is worth so much more. Look at that. What does that say right there? Seven silver, baby. Seven. You ready? Remember, that says nine. Let's do it. Sixteen, baby. So, so let's see. We had what? So about what well, I would say an eight. Yeah, not bad, not bad. But we're not done yet. I gotta get rid of all this shit. So I don't really need any of it. Iron Grivna is bullshit for me because I don't use Grivna. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I would say that was worth it. I got so much out of it. And now you guys know how to make everything. So you guys are pros. You don't need me anymore. Look, look at this. You guys are watching it right now. You guys are pros. You don't need Dire Shade for shit now. You guys are going to own this shit. You guys are amazing. That's what makes you guys unique, amazing, and you name it. Now, what I like to do after I make a solid profit, I put it in my bank and I pretend like I don't have it until I need it. But as of today, I'm trying to get more armor. And since I haven't been able to buy the recipe to make better armor, that's the only way I buy stuff on the auction house right now is I'll buy complete armor sets or I'll buy recipes. That's about it. That's what the auction house is good for. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to go on and check real quick. And remember, you always have to click on the side. I'm looking for recipes. That's the first thing I always look for. So as you can see, the prices are a little ridiculous in my opinion, but to each their own. I don't really see too much. So I could, I could be here for hours looking for what I'm looking for, but at least now I can afford anything. But I just want to give you guys a brief little look at that. I'm mostly into heavy armor, but again, if you are going out, taking a tree down, mining, you want the light armor because it benefits you so you can use your stamina and outrun stuff, and your weapon takes a lot anyway, so you're safe. But anyway, guys, that is how you, that's how you collect resources, this is how you break down and craft, and this is how you safely have a good day without asking people a billion freaking questions. <laughs> okay? So I hope this helped you. I hope my video, my live stream helped you. Uh, leave uh, information down. I'll leave information about this at the YouTube page. And the link on Twitch should be down there somewhere so you can go find it. And on any of my other social medias that are showing this video, that information to those websites should be in any particular description on those pages. You can find me, message me whenever you want. Follow me, subscribe me, like me. Whatever. Thumbs up, thumbs down. As long as I get to hear from you guys, that's all I really care about. Because you guys have been quiet. Very quiet, but also great. And I wanted to thank uh, Papa Dross for um, commenting on my Twitch page. He's, ama he's an amazing guy. I'm sure he's going to have a great time since he said he just bought the game. And um, I look forward to playing with him. I'm also on the Aquarius server. I think that's how you pronounce it. The North American Aqua Aquarius server, whatever you want to call it. And I'm on the Midlander side. I'm, I'm only on the Midlander side. So, again, this is the side that I'm on. And I actually might go PKing soon. Yeah, I'm probably going to go PKing because it looks pretty fun right now. I'm going to go PK, I'm going to go PKing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because it looks like we're losing. But anyways, guys, I'm off. Like me, subscribe, do all that jazz. My name is Dire Shade. Follow me, watch me. I have a schedule out there. You guys have been amazing. Share my video on YouTube when it's produced. And uh, yeah, leave me some comments. Again, guys, I've got to go. I've got to hit the bricks. It's been a pleasure. Bye-bye, everyone. You've been so nice. Bye-bye.